Chapter 2841 The Immortal Institutes Luo Ning This lightning lizard beast is ours. A woman spoke from the ground of the Immortal Institute's disciples. She was tall, only a bit shorter than Long Chen, and her hair was tied back into a ponytail. She gave off both a beautiful and powerful air. Even amongst female experts, this woman possessed a special firmness and experience. She was completely different from Mu King Gaiyan who possessed a leader's wisdom. This woman seemed wild and unruly in comparison, like someone who dared to fight and go all out right from the start. When Long Chen saw her, his heart shuddered. As soon as he looked at her, he thought of Ku Jinying. Even their eyes were a bit familiar. As he thought of Ku Jinying's fall and the old man accompanying her, his eyes reddened. This lightning lizard beast was originally very important to him, but as soon as he saw her and was reminded of Ku Jinying, he was in no mood to fight over it. All right. You say it's yours. So it's yours. Long Chen nodded and turned around. Hold it. She suddenly spoke again. Wanting to fight over this lightning lizard beast because they had spent half a month preparing to take it down. They had been keeping an eye on its habits and were setting up a meticulous trap when he suddenly interfered. Over a thousand people had spent so much time and effort. Only for Long Chen to take the spoils. Even if his combat power was truly terrifying, she was unconvinced. That was especially true with the conflict between the God Institute and the Immortal Institute. Yet, when Long Chen looked at her, she saw the pain in his eyes. Just that one look made her heart break. Miss, do you need something? Long Chen paused but didn't look back. Have we met before she asked? No, but when I saw you, I thought of an old friend. So, your luck is good. I won't fight against you, said Long Chen, shaking his head. You're injured. The woman noticed that one of Long Chen's hands was bleeding. Considering that he had just killed the lightning lizard beast with that fist of his, it was normal for the terrifying backlash to injure him. However, in truth, this wasn't the result of the backlash from the lightning lizard beast but from activating his astral power in that instant. Using that power had caused his own fist to split open before hitting the lightning lizard beast. After ascending, he found that it wasn't the primal chaos bead that had changed in mysterious ways. Even the stars in his body had changed. They had started to evolve, and their power was no longer the power of mortal worlds. As for his body, it was still the body of a mortal man. Just using a fraction of his new astral power was too much for his body to handle, resulting in his injury. It's just a superficial wound. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave, said Long Chen emotionlessly. He was a bit afraid to look at her, or more accurately her eyes that reminded him of Ku Jinying and the old man. Memories flickered through his mind. The memories of their care and help were now painful. Too painful for him to dare to touch. With Long Chen's current behavior, the woman no longer knew what to do. She wanted to fight for the lightning lizard beast. But this appearance of his made her unwilling to take it all. I was hunting this lightning lizard beast for its gall. It will help my big sister heal her wounds. If you are willing to share, I can give you corresponding compensation. She said after a moment's hesitation. If this was just a normal hunt, she probably wouldn't fight over it. However, the lightning lizard beast's gall was extremely important to her. Otherwise... She wouldn't have spent half a month preparing just to make sure that no accidents occurred. But that accident still occurred. It just so happens that I only want its needon and crystal core, said Long Chen. Good. We can split it up to avoid any resentment or grudge. She was happy to hear that. Although the needon and crystal core were extremely valuable, they weren't things that she urgently needed. She immediately sent some disciples to begin breaking down the lightning lizard beast's corpse. This was a meticulous task. Breaking one of its muscles or bone runes would use up some of the crystal core and Needon's energy. In the worst case, it could trigger their power to explode, destroying the corpse. Thus, this work took a bit of time. Long Chen found a rock in the distance to sit down. He then stared into the horizon, lost in thought. Li Ke and the others sat nearby but didn't dare to make a sound. The woman looked at Long Chen. She finally couldn't endure it any longer and walked over, saying, You seem strange. What's your name? Your cultivation base is so low. So how are you so powerful? And how did you end up becoming an instructor? 
You're not even wearing an instructor's robes. Long Chen looked at her. She no longer appeared as stubborn and angry as before, so her gaze no longer looked similar to Ku Jinying's. Instead, she was looking at him inquisitively. Hey, why aren't you speaking? Even though the God Institute and the Immortal Institute aren't friends, saying a few words shouldn't pose such a difficulty, right? She frowned when Long Chen just stared at her foolishly. Long Chen smiled. This person really wasn't that similar to Ku Jinying. He was just too sensitive. Even after all this time, he had yet to resolve the knot in his heart. If this continued, it would be a problem for his future cultivation. He couldn't continue living in the past and had to look toward the future. Only by leaving the past in the past could he face his future. What are you smiling about? She demanded. Someone else would probably be embarrassed and bashful at being smiled at like this. But she was very blonde. It's nothing. You can call me Long San. They also call me third brother or third boss. What about you? Asked Long Chen. Long San? What a boorish name. Third boss? Are you not beaten all day in the God Institute with such a name? She looked at him curiously. I'm indifferent to that. In any case, with my temper, I have to beat up others all the time if I don't want to be beaten. Long Chen shrugged. Interesting. I didn't expect that the God Institute would have someone that isn't so dislikable. After saying that, she directly sat down beside Long Chen, placing her sword beside her. I am Lu Oning, fifth on the human grade immortal rankings. You are new, right? We know everyone on the top 50 of the divine rankings, but we have no information on you. Our great instructor arrived at the academy while you were observing this place. So you didn't know what happened in the God Institute. Li Ke excitedly interjected, only to shut up when Long Chen glanced at him. Lu Oning looked at Long Chen, and then at Li Ke and the others, finding Long Chen to be more and more intriguing. Now, she truly wanted to know his origin. At this time, the disciples finished breaking down the corpse. Long Chen obtained a perfect Nidan and crystal core filled with Thunder Force runes, so he couldn't help but get excited. Perhaps Li Linger would be able to wake up with this. After obtaining what he wanted, Long Chen stood and said goodbye. However, when he was about to leave, Luo Ning suddenly spoke up once more. I'd advise you not to end up together with that Chu Kuang, because I will sooner or later kill him. Chapter 2842 The challenges begin after Long Chen left. Luo Ning's final words echoed in his mind. It was a warning. It seemed that her enmity with Chu Kuang was far greater than whatever conflict existed between the God Institute and the Immortal Institute. However, it had nothing to do with him. If others didn't provoke him, he would just quietly cultivate. If others did provoke him, then it didn't matter who it was. He would make them pay the blood price. Long Chen led the elite group back to hunting beasts. When he was idle. He absorbed the thunder force from the lightning lizard beast's crystal core and Nidan. With Long Chen's pointers, these disciples finally started to shape up. At the very least, they were able to forget the feeling of death when they were fighting. They had finally gained some bravery and confidence through this tempering. When that newfound confidence appeared, Long Chen became more cautious. If they were to receive a mental blow at this time, it would be a serious setback. When they encountered powerful beasts, Long Chen would personally suppress the beasts and direct the disciples, correcting any mistakes that he saw. He didn't forget to occasionally give them some praise as well. The carrot and the stick combined were the best method of all time. The elite group was making rapid advancements and spent every day in pain and joy. Their innate talent was good, and through this hellish training, even they themselves were shocked by their gains. As more and more of their talent and potential were being brought out every day, even they could feel it. Although Long Chen's training was difficult to endure, they all knew that this was their only chance to change their fates. If this opportunity was missed, it wouldn't come again. Moreover, it wasn't just their physical bodies that were transforming, but their souls as well. Their thirst for power also grew as they got stronger. In the blink of an eye, ten days passed and it was enough to completely transform these disciples. Their auras were now heavy and solid. Their gazes were sharp. They had spent these ten days killing, so the blood chi of their opponents had yet to fade from their bodies. That aura had even started to infect their souls. 
making them have a trace of the aura that an expert should possess Novaloon.com However, they weren't the only ones to benefit from these 10 days. Long Chen was delighted because he had fully absorbed the power of the lightning lizard beast, and Lai Linger had also awoken. She also transformed into a small dragon and coiled around Long Chen's arm, reverting back to her Lai Long form. Lai Linger didn't usually like showing emotion unlike Huo Linger's fieriness, but after awakening this time, Lai Long wrapped firmly around Long Chen's arm. Long Chen used his spiritual strength to comfort it, but it still refused to let go. Unlike Huo Linger that freely expressed emotion, Lai Linger seemed to hide those emotions deep within. Now, it seemed afraid to let go of Long Chen, as if that battle had had a large impact on Lai Linger. With both of them awakened, Long Chen was revitalized and no longer felt alone. Even his mood improved. Third boss, is today the day that you transmit us some ultimate techniques. Long Chen's smile made the disciples feel more relaxed. Ever since they had known Long Chen, they had never seen this smile. His face was usually frighteningly dark, and now it was like a clear day after long storms. Ever since Long Chen had told Luo Ning she could call him Long San, these fellows had changed their appellation for him, no longer calling him Instructor Long Chen. Ultimate moves? Nonsense. I haven't even gone to the Divine Technique Pavilion. Where am I supposed to find ultimate moves for you? Long Chen scolded with a smile. Techniques are defined by such things. The important thing is whether or not they can be used in the real world. Moreover, none of you have condensed your flame seed. Without igniting divine energy, how are you supposed to unleash your so-called ultimate moves? Those techniques can only be unleashed by the strong. Even if you could control a destructive ultimate technique, would it matter if you were cut down by your enemy's sword before you could unleash it? Those techniques require accumulating a great deal of power before casting, and their cast times are long. In a clash between experts, life and death are decided by the smallest things. Who would give you time to unleash such a move? You still don't understand after killing all those beasts? When you killed those beasts, did they not have their own ultimate techniques? But did you give them a chance to unleash them? Long Chen's mood was good today so he didn't scold them as coldly as he did before. Hence, their feeling of fear toward him lessened quite a bit. Starting today, you will start killing beasts in one against ones, said Long Chen. What all of them jumped. In a one against one, the slightest mistake would result in death. You are already capable of killing them on your own, but you don't know just how strong you have become. What you need to do is recognize your own power so you can make the correct judgments when fighting your enemies. You must grasp opportunity within danger. Li Kei, you go first, said Long Chen. Yes, Li Kei didn't reveal any fear. Instead, he was itching to try as he was the one who had improved the fastest during this time. Even his body had completely changed. His arms and legs were far thicker, no longer fitting into his old robes. Thus. He was currently wearing a set of beast hides. Boom. At this moment, a wild bull had its throat slit by Li Kei's sword. Its blood spurted into the air before falling back down. Not bad. You were able to remain calm from start to end. You weren't affected by the threat of death. Although you missed a few chances to kill it, wasting quite a bit of energy. Overall, it was very much not bad. Long Chen made a judgment. Li Kei got them off to a good start. Startling the other disciples, Long Chen had picked out some comparatively weaker beasts for them to fight as training. He wanted them to continue to pile up successes and increase their confidence. It was after another 10 days of killing beasts that the true hellish training began. They started to fight Long Chen one against one. Li Kei was the first. As a result, Long Chen's sword pierced his chest in an instant. If Long Chen hadn't had mercy, Li Kei would have died. At that instant, all the disciples turned green. They had thought that they were already extremely powerful. However, the result of their fights was that not one person lasted more than three exchanges against Long Chen. When they lost, scars were left on their bodies. Some of the scars were in fatal places, but Long Chen pulled back his power at the last second. Despite that, his terrifying killing intent made them breathe in the scent of death. The final ten days were the greatest torment. Even after 10 days, not one person was able to last more than three exchanges against Long Chen. 
leaving them all feeling dejected. Furthermore, time was up. They then followed Long Chen back to the God Institute in low spirits. Right now, the plaza in front of the Grand Palace was packed with people. The martial stage was already set up. Other than the first place on the human grade divine rankings, Chu Kuang, everyone else had arrived. No way. Looking at their current expressions, it seems that there's no hope. Zhang Ling and the others' expressions fell when they saw the faces of the elite group. Long Chen, are you prepared? Today as Miang Zhe smiled at Long Chen, the dejected looks of the elite group seemed to tell him that the result that he wanted was about to come. Shut your butt, keep farting and I'll kill you, snorted Long Chen with a cold glance. He then turned to Li Kei behind him. Go, you are the first. Remember to beat him like a dog. Yes, Li Kei directly jumped onto the martial stage and shouted, third place on the divine rankings, that Chang Shen or whatever, come out. Ba San told me to beat you like a dog. Li Kei's voice caused an uproar to ear up throughout the plaza. Chapter 2843 Luo Sisters Is He Crazy? Startled cries rang out. The elite group was called trash behind their backs as they only lazed around. No one had ever viewed them as true elites. They were a joke in the academy. For Li Kei to instantly challenge the third rank Zhang Changsheng, everyone was dumbfounded, including the instructors. Just at this moment, Heaven Master Yun Yang also appeared. He smiled at Long Chen. Instructor Long Chen, you seem to be in quite a rush. There's still ten breaths time until the agreed upon time. Now I feel like I'm late. Heaven Master Yun Yang was the one who had proposed the time, but he was the last to arrive. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Isn't that because I have no other choice? If we still didn't start, there might be someone whose blood dyes the ground red. Then the gamble would be meaningless everyone then looked toward instructor Miang Zhe. Long Chen was clearly referring to his blood. More than ten times the usual people had arrived here today. It wasn't just the God Institute's disciples, but the disciples from other institutes had also been drawn over, resulting in the plaza being packed to the brim. What a domineering tone. What a sharp gaze. It's just like the rumors. That arrogance is truly worthy of someone who dares to call himself Boss Long San. At this time, the name of Boss Long San had spread throughout the God Institute and even further. The names of just Long Chen or Instructor Long Chen were unable to properly describe him. Only the name Boss Long San was worthy of his temperament. Within the God Institute, and perhaps the entire academy, Long Chen was completely unique. A newcomer who had arrived less than two months ago already caused such a ruckus. Countless other newcomers felt admiration and worship for him. Most newcomers were suppressed by their senior disciples. But Long Chen was able to stand on his own, not bending to anyone. All of them hoped to be the same as him one day. Long Chen, Miang Zhe's expression sank, and he clenched his teeth furiously. Long Chen had once more slapped him in the face. Please keep your mouth shut. I'm afraid that you might make me kill you. That might cause me to forfeit a great future. Long Chen sighed helplessly. He didn't know why Miang Zhe was so foolish as to constantly go against him. He couldn't imagine what was growing in his foolish head. He is Long San. In a distant corner of the plaza, there was a rather conspicuous group of disciples. They didn't fit in with the rest because they were disciples of the Immortal Institute. The speaker was a very beautiful young woman with perfect facial features and long hair. However, her face was currently a bit pale, and her eyes were a bit dim. It seemed that she was injured, but her voice was still pleasant to hear. Yes, he's the one that killed the lightning lizard beast in one punch. He's very powerful, and equally strange and mysterious, said a woman beside her. That latter was the one that Long Chen had met before, Luo Ning. The other woman was her big sister the rank 1 expert on the immortal rankings, Luo Bing. This big sister seemed to possess a completely different temperament from Luo Ning. While Luo Ning was valiant and carried herself tall, Luo Bing was more subdued. The two sisters were three years apart, but it was Luo Ning who seemed to be the older one. How curious. I get a familiar feeling from him, said Luo Bing. You feel it too. Luo Ning was surprised. I had the same feeling but I thought it was a mistake. This little fellow looks nice, but my standards aren't bad enough to like someone with just a look. The first time Luo Ning had seen Long Chen, 
She was moved by the pain in his eyes. In that instant, for some reason, her heart started pounding, making her feel an urge to comfort and protect him. But that feeling was instantly suppressed by her. Later on, when she talked to him, he merely answered that his name was Long San. He clearly didn't want to talk to her. Hence, although she had obtained the gall of the lightning lizard beast to help Luo Bing recover, the way Long Chen had ignored her did not make her happy. He's too domineering. Without any background, he'll suffer in the future. If there's a chance, you can try to warn him that the Academy's interior is rife with complicated connections. It would be better if he could reserve himself a bit. Luo Bing suddenly had a coughing fit. Seeing this scene, Luo Ning hastily took out a medicinal pill for her. Once Luo Bing consumed it, she felt a bit better and continued watching. Heaven Master Yan Yang saw that Miang Zhe was about to reply, so he waved his hand to cut him off. All right, the time has come. Any personal grievances between the two of you can be settled after the competition. Of course, from your current appearance, it seems that this enmity will be very difficult to settle. I feel like the chance of a life and death battle being approved is very high. Noveloon.com Miang Zhe's expression grew unsightly to behold, and he shut his mouth. Last time, Long Chen's life and death challenge didn't meet the requirements. But if their conflict reached the point that it couldn't be mediated, Long Chen could send an application in. Once it passed, the life and death battle would proceed. Seeing that Miang Zhe was silent, Long Chen couldn't be bothered with him any longer. The time has come. I'll ask Heaven Master Yan Yang to take charge of the competition, said Long Chen. All right, then let's not waste time. The challenges can start. As long as 10 members of the elite group can enter the divine rankings, Instructor Long Chen of the God Institute will be allowed to wear whatever he wants without being bound by the God Institute's rules, announced Heaven Master Yan Yang. He did all this just to not wear instructor robes. Luo Bing stared at him strangely. Only now did she learn that Long Chen had gone to such a fuss just for some clothes. Who knows? In any case, he really is curious. He doesn't answer when I ask him anything. It's annoying, said Luo Ning irritably. Considering her straightforward nature, Long Chen's way of shrugging off her questions vexed her. But she also couldn't stop feeling furious about him. It made her want to hit someone. The challenges start now. Heaven Master Yan Yang suddenly caused the martial stage to rise. A barrier appeared around it. Everyone's gaze focused on the stage. Li Ke was standing there. With everyone's gaze on him, he grew excited. He had been forced to live a sullen life this entire time. Now his battle intent soared. Where is Zhang Changsheng? Come out and face your death. Chapter 2844 One shocking move amongst the crowd. Zhang Changsheng was infuriated. He finally couldn't endure any longer. According to the rules, he had to accept the challenge, or his third place ranking would be taken by Li Ke. Normally, the challenges for the spots on the human grade divine rankings had to occur at the start of the month. But this month was special. The competition was occurring in the middle of the month. In this competition, if a person took someone else's ranking, they would have to accept if someone else challenged them for their new position. In other words, only by winning twice could they stay in their new position. Thus, the order and choice of challenges were very important. Since you want to die, I'll accept. Zhang Changsheng walked up. As soon as he walked through the barrier, it became a sealed space. Zhang Changsheng's expression was gloomy. That wasn't because he viewed Li Ke as a serious opponent but because he thought that Long Chen was intentionally humiliating him with this challenge. Even if he won. It would still be a disgrace for him to have to fight someone so weak. Did Long Chen feed you a bear's heart and a leopard's gods? You dare to challenge me? Although killing people isn't allowed here, making you half dead is still no problem. If I lose, I don't mind losing my life. However, Ba San said that if I don't defeat you, I should just kill myself with a piece of rotten tofu. I am the captain of the elite group. I cannot lose our dignity. So I'm sorry to say that I might be a bit heavy-handed in a bit. Be careful. I don't want you to blame me if I kill you by accident. A broadsword the thickness of a palm appeared in Li Ke's hand. This was a weapon that Long Chen had specifically picked out for him. And it perfectly suited his power. He then pointed it at Zhang Changsheng. 
his body bending slightly, his eyes were sharp like a falcon's, and the formless air of an expert appeared around him. Both the disciples and instructors were moved by this. Li Kei's current aura was shocking. They could sense it even from outside the stage. How can this be? How can Trash suddenly possess such a powerful aura? It's only been a month. What did they go through? It seems like they've completely transformed. Although it was just a starting posture, his movements, his gaze, and the steady way he carried that broadsword all added up into a stunning transformation. Everyone looked at Long Chen, only to see that he was sitting amongst the mortal ranked instructors. His eyes were closed, and he wasn't even watching. It was as if this challenge didn't interest him. Boom. Just at this moment, the battle started. Holding the broadsword with both hands, Li Kei slashed it at Zhang Changsheng and sent the latter flying back. Zhang Changsheng was stunned at Li Kei's shocking power. He actually wasn't able to block it and was forced back. As a result, cheers rang out from the elite group. This one blow gave them great confidence. In the past 10 days, they had been undergoing hellish training. Long Chen almost wiped away all the confidence they had accumulated before. At this moment, Zhang Changsheng's sword began to shine. He thrust his sword, unleashing a hundred rays of light that were like a lotus blooming. It was perfectly refined. He directly took out his trump card. Mu Qingyan was startled. She had fought against Zhang Changsheng multiple times, and he knew that this was the move he had spent the most time drilling. He was actually forced to use it so quickly. This sword attack was a mix of illusions and real attacks. What looked real was fake, and what looked fake was real. It was a very difficult attack to deal with. What shocked everyone was that in the face of Zhang Changsheng's powerful attack, Li Kei didn't retreat. Instead, he charged head on with his broadsword. Boom. The refined sword light then shattered, and Zhang Changsheng was sent flying, this time smashing into the barrier and bouncing back, coughing up blood. Impossible. Now, even Mu Qingyan and the others were shocked, unable to believe their eyes. Zhang Changsheng's trump card was broken so easily? The next moment, Li Kei's sword was already pressed up right against Zhang Changsheng's throat. You've lost. Li Kei's voice resounded throughout the plaza. Two moves. In just two moves, the position of third rank on the divine rankings was taken. The elite group erupted into cheering, filled with excitement. Now they knew that not all opponents were as monstrous as Long Chen. Li Kei was never able to last more than three exchanges against Long Chen, and now the third rank Zhang Changsheng was unable to last three exchanges against Li Kei. Hence, the elite group had a new assessment of their current power and was no longer as dispirited as before. Now they knew why Long Chen hadn't said any words of encouragement or given them any pointers on their way back here. It was because he understood their power. I won't submit. Zhang Changsheng roared furiously. This shout drew countless people's scorn. Someone who refused to admit defeat was the most contemptible. You won't submit? That's fine. I'll beat you until you submit. Ba San taught me. So I can't lose his face. I heard that you've even provoked Ba San? Today, I'll show you that the two of you are in completely different dimensions. Li Kei actually retreated, putting away his broadsword. Li Kei was filled with worship toward Long Chen. He finally understood just how terrifying his growth was in this one month. He was filled with confidence. Seeing Li Kei actually give Zhang Changsheng another chance, the disciples erupted into an uproar. Was this confidence or arrogance? Li Kei actually viewed the third rank's position as a game. It had to be known that this position was something that countless people wanted. Was he not afraid of all his gains flying away in an instant? They looked toward Long Chen only to see that his eyes were still closed. He didn't seem to care about anything happening. It was as if he was sleeping. I was careless just now. Let's see how you beat me this time. Zhang Changsheng's sword light suddenly expanded, and a sharp image appeared on the edge of his blade. Divine energy manifesting outside. Has he already ignited his divine flame seed? The disciples cried out in shock. Only those that had ignited their divine flame could begin unleashing divine energy. Hence, Zhang Changsheng could be considered half a step into the divine flame realm. Die. Zhang Changsheng furiously slashed his sword, and waves of giant sword images flew out, filling the entire martial stage. Even Mu Qingyan jumped, 
She hadn't expected Zhang Changshen to have condensed his divine flame seed in just a month. In return, Li Ke shouted and straightforwardly charged over. He was instantly consumed by the sword images. Boom. Another explosion occurred and the endless sword images vanished. Li Ke's chest was pierced, while Zhang Changshen was lying far away, struggling to get up. After a few failures, he suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, and his body began to violently twitch. Medics, Miang Zhe shouted, and some healing experts immediately rushed over. They examined both of their bodies. One reason they were here was to help heal people during these challenges, but the other reason was precisely for this situation, where two parties were injured. They would decide whose injury was lighter, and thus who was the winner. Zhang Changshen has lost. The third place position is changing owners. They announced the result after their examination. The competitions can continue now. Miang Zhe looked at Li Ke and then at Long Chen. A smile filled with deeper meaning appeared on his face. The elite group's disciples instantly got excited. Now was their time to show off. Chapter 2845 Slander Boom A disciple of the elite group sent another disciple flying with a slash of his sword. He smashed into the barrier and fell unconscious. The challenge is successful, announced the examiner, causing a clamor amongst the disciples. 36 people all succeeded in their challenges. Not one of them lost, and they all challenged people in the top 50. The rankings are now filled with fresh blood. Heavens, this world is crazy, right? How is this possible? Just what kind of method had this boss San used to turn a group of trash into a true elite group in just a short month? That was heaven defying. The instructors were just as shocked. Looking at the elite group, they felt like they were going crazy. The most unacceptable thing to them was that these disciples had beaten their opponents in under 10 moves. Their challenges were won in just a few breaths time, and that terrifying combat power shook them to their core. When the final disciple won, they fell into stunned silence. Even Mu Kinnigan and the Unfettered Alliance's members had stopped cheering. They were simply stunned. The elite group's disciples were like tigers. When their gaze fell on their opponents, it was like they were looking at the person who had killed their father. That was how fierce and vicious they were. Furthermore, they had won all these challenges without any powerful techniques. They had simply used very ordinary techniques but their opponents were unable to block them. This is impossible. Long Chen definitely cheated. Suddenly, Miang Zhe shouted. He was unable to accept this reality, and other instructors also stood with him. The disciples stared in confusion before realizing what was going on. They were collectively rising against Long Chen. Long Chen had used a month to raise a group of trash into elites. That was a slap in the face of all the other instructors. In the entire course of instructors, who was able to do what Long Chen had just done? His current display was saying that all of them were terrible teachers who had misjudged geniuses as trash. I propose that we hold an investigation into these disciples to see if they secretly consumed some kind of drug. Sacrificing a disciple's longevity for short-term goals is simply destructive and contrary to the goals of the academy shouted an instructor. Fuck your mother. Even before Heaven Master Yun Yang could speak, the elite group burst into curses. Other than smearing others, do you pieces of shit have any ability you're jealous of Boss San's ability? So you use this kind of underhanded method? Fine. Let's bet right now. Heaven Master, you can test all of us. If we cheated, everyone in the elite group will kill themselves. If we didn't cheat, then all these jealous and dark-hearted pieces of trash can scram out of the God Institute. That's right. Despicable little people like you aren't fit to be instructors. How are people like you supposed to teach others? You want us to learn your vileness? Let's bet with our lives. The proud elite group was enraged by this slander. Questioning Long Chen was the most unacceptable thing to them. Although Long Chen's training had practically been tortured during this meantime, and he had never smiled at them, that didn't stop them from worshipping his strength. They were originally terrified of Long Chen, but as they gradually understood his abilities, that terror transformed into reverence. The more they cultivated with Long Chen, the more they felt him to be as vast as a mountain, as deep as a sea. They were nothing more than specks of dust compared to him. Now, a bunch of people of higher rank but without any ability dared to blaspheme Long Chen. 
This scene made the elite group have an urge to charge up and kill them right now. The other disciples found it both shocking and comical that the elite group would be so enraged. All of them were holding their weapons, a vicious light in their eyes. But Long Chen was still sitting there like he was sleeping. Brazen, impudent, you wish to rebel. The instructors were surprised and then became angry. They began to shout back, turning this into a chaotic spectacle. That's enough. A wave of divine pressure suddenly spread from heaven master Yun Yang, shaking everyone's hearts. The quality of the God Institute's instructors has declined. It seems that we should consider forming a ranking just like the one we have our disciples so that we can get rid of the worse ones. Ming Zhe, if I recall properly, you were promoted to the earth rank over 300 years ago. Correct? It seems that ever since your promotion, you haven't made any contributions. To have arrogance is not important, but arrogance must have a foundation. Where does your foundation lay? With no evidence. You accused instructor Long Chen of cheating and even had a group of people currying favor with you to twist reality. Does your foundation lay in using your position to accumulate numbers? Pulling in some people and relying on them. Did you think such support can allow you to do whatever you please? Remember, this place is the High Firmament Academy. The biggest person here is the Dean. Hence, unless your backer is the Dean, I'd advise you not to mess around so much. Heaven Master Yun Yang usually spoke kindly, and no one had ever seen him enraged. But his words today were a bit heavy. It seemed that the good-tempered Heaven Master Yun Yang was extremely dissatisfied with Ming Zhe and was warning him. Heaven Master, disciple only felt that. Ming Zhe began to sweat. Heaven Master Yun Yang waved his hand. If you suspect Instructor Long Chen is cheating and wish to investigate, that is an insult to Instructor Long Chen's character. To be fair, an investigation is possible, but if nothing is revealed by this investigation, you will have to kneel outside the God Institute's transportation formation for three days. That's, Ming Zhe and the others' expressions changed. What? You wish to humiliate others, so you must accept being humiliated if you're wrong. Your dignity is not worth more than other people's dignity. Heaven Master Yun Yang's gaze suddenly became cold. His eyes were like two sharp blades looking at Ming Zhe. I, I, I feel like there's no need for such a thing. I believe in Instructor Long Chen. Ming Zhe finally submitted after hesitating a long time. He knew that Heaven Master Yun Yang was enraged. If he pressed it, everything would occur according to the rules. Although he felt that Long Chen had most likely cheated, he didn't dare to take the risk. That transportation formation was something that millions of disciples went through every day. Kneeling there would be worse than death. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! The elite group's disciples laughed, but they didn't smile. They were using this method to insult Ming Zhe and the others. The other disciples also found it laughable. This earth master Ming Zhe now looked like he had kicked an iron plate. Seeing Ming Zhe and the others lower their heads and fall silent, Heaven Master Yun Yang finally turned to Long Chen with a slight smile. Instructor Long Chen, don't sleep. I wonder if you can share with us your experience? I believe that many people would like to hear it. Everyone's ears perked up. They then looked at Long Chen, their hearts pounding. They all wanted to know how Long Chen had allowed this group to advance so quickly. What kind of secret lay within this? Chapter 2846 Guts When Heaven Master Yun Yang was done talking, everyone looked at Long Chen. He was still dozing off, stunning everyone. Was he actually so arrogant that he dared to ignore even Heaven Master Yun Yang's words? Ba San Ah, Li Ke saw that Long Chen really did seem to be sleeping, so he reached over to nudge him. However, even before his hand touched him, Long Chen's hand whipped out quick as lightning, grabbing his throat. Everyone jumped in shock as blood dripped down Li Ke's throat. Long Chen had almost crushed his throat. Ba San, it's me. Long Chen slowly loosened his grip and then apologized. Sorry, that was my bad. It's my reflex. Long Chen himself didn't know why he was suddenly overcome by a bout of drowsiness. He had truly fallen asleep, and Li Ke's actions had startled him awake. He then instinctively counterattacked, almost causing a catastrophe. Fortunately, he reacted fast enough, or Li Ke's little life would be gone. Congratulations, Instructor Long Chen. A large part of your mortal chi has been expelled. 
with immortal chi gradually entering your body, it results in the body feeling weary. This indicates that your immortal chi has risen greatly during this time, said Heaven Master Yun Yang. Only Heaven Master Yun Yang was able to see the truth. If someone advanced too quickly within the mortal transcendence realm, their body would need to adjust to it, and that adjustment sometimes involved a deep slumber. Long Chen had fallen asleep not long after sitting. That was why Long Chen hadn't reacted to Miang Zhe and the other's provocation. It wasn't because of how magnanimous he was but that he simply didn't hear it. I'm sorry for my rudeness, apologized Long Chen. Not a problem. You can't control such a thing. But be careful. If your realm rises too quickly, such a thing will occur more often. You can't just think about running. Sometimes you have to stop and adjust yourself. A blade must be constantly sharpened, reminded Heaven Master Yun Yang. Many thanks for your pointers. Disciple understands. Long Chen cupped his fists. In terms of battle, he had ample experience. But when it came to cultivation, compared to Heaven Master Yun Yang, his experience was lacking. Long Chen still had a long path to walk. Ba San, you almost took my life. Li Ke appraised his wounds, still feeling some lingering fear. Sorry, ever since I started cultivating, most of my time was spent on the border between life and death. So I'm rather sensitive. Don't worry, I'll give you some special treatment when we get back as compensation. Long Chen patted Li Kei's shoulder. Many thanks, Ba San. Many thanks. Li Kei was delighted to hear this. This meant that Long Chen was going to teach him some extra things. Hearing this, the other disciples of the elite group were all envious. After such a long time with Long Chen, their impression of him only grew greater. He was an existence that they could not comprehend, and his power was enough for people to completely ignore his cultivation base. Instructor Long Chen, everyone is looking at you. Can you say a few words? Asked Heaven Master Yun Yang. About what asked Long Chen? He didn't hear what Heaven Master Yun Yang had said before. Ba San, Heaven Master Yun Yang wishes for you to share your experiences with everyone, said one of the elite group's disciples. Long Chen then looked at everyone's expressions and instantly understood. He shook his head. Actually, Heaven Master, you are already well aware. Are you giving this little one a chance to show off? Long Chen truly felt respect for Heaven Master Yun Yang. It was always people with the greatest learning that had the least arrogance. Heaven Master Yun Yang was such an existence. Long Chen believed that with Heaven Master Yun Yang's sharp vision, nothing could be hidden from him. However, he still wanted Long Chen to say a few words about his experience. That was a chance to show off in front of everyone. Although Long Chen didn't care about this chance, he still had to thank the Heaven Master for his good intentions. Instructor Long Chen, don't be courteous. We truly wish to know how you, in just a month, managed to turn a group of trash cough, a group of ordinary people into a true elite group, called out a disciple, correcting himself midway. That disciple was embarrassed by his slip of the tongue, but the elite group didn't get angry. Instead, they felt proud. They also admitted that they were trash back then. Long Chen had long since said this. They didn't mind others insulting their past because they also looked down on their past selves. Since they had transformed, their pasts were not taboo. They only felt proud of having transformed. This kind of transformation was worthy of pride. At this moment, Long Chen walked onto the martial stage, looking at those expectant disciples. He sighed inside. The elite group's victory was entirely within my expectations. The reason they won was due to one thing. Long Chen paused and looked over everyone before he finally spat out one word. Gods. Gods. Everyone stared at him in confusion, not understanding what he meant. Long Chen nodded. Yes. Gods. To put it more concretely. It is the determination to risk their lives. During this month, I didn't teach them much. All I taught them was that if they wanted to obtain something, they had to go all out. When you have no supporters, when you have no resources, when you have no favorable conditions, but you still want to change your fate, then your only card is your life. As long as you can bet with your life, you will still have a chance to obtain what you want. Changing your current predicament. They spent this month fighting on the brink of death almost every day. After a month of training, 
they finally gained the courage to risk their lives. This is why their victory was for sure. They were willing to use their own lives, while those that they defeated didn't have that courage that people still didn't understand. Instructor Long Chen is correct. If you didn't fight them, you wouldn't know just how terrifying they are. They're like bloodthirsty beasts. Even if you gave me another chance, I would still lose, said one of the disciples that had been defeated off of the divine rankings. Those who had fought against the elite group were too shaken by their auras to fight properly, so their combat power sharply fell. Before the battle even started, they had lost. Instructor Long Chen, I wish to know how Li Ke managed to beat Zhang Changsheng, someone who was clearly stronger than him? What technique did he use to beat someone stronger when he was weaker? At this moment, Zhang Ling ran out and raised her hand high in the air. Chapter 2847 Divine Scripture Pavilion Seeing her happy smile, Long Chen also smiled. He shook his head. I'll correct that misunderstanding of yours today. In this world, there is no such thing as someone weaker beating someone stronger. Everyone was startled by this statement and it caused a ruckus amongst the instructors. What nonsense. There have been plenty of cases of the weaker person beating the stronger one throughout history. The Tao of the heavens is incomplete. The moon wings and waxes, while the tides rise and fall. To grow is to leave room to shrink. Instructor Long Chen, pay attention to your words. Don't mislead our disciples, said one old instructor, clearly disagreeing with Long Chen's view. The principle of the weaker beating the stronger was deeply rooted in almost everyone's head. This was the only way that weaker people would have the courage to fight stronger opponents. It was also a way to encourage them. Hence, for Long Chen to say that there was no such thing toppled their traditional teachings, resulting in the instructors lashing out. Only Heaven Master Yun Yang continued to watch Long Chen with interest, not expressing any opinion over this. He just waited for Long Chen to continue speaking. You're the one bullshitting. Tell me, what is someone weaker beating someone stronger? Demanded Long Chen. Someone with a lower cultivation base beating someone with a higher cultivation base in combat. Answered an instructor. Who told you that someone with a lower cultivation base is definitely weaker? Retorted Long Chen. Comma that instructor was instantly speechless. Ignoring him, Long Chen continued. There is no such thing as someone weaker beating someone stronger. If the weak could beat the strong, then that means that they were never weak. If the stronger side lost, then they were never the stronger side. Have you seen a chicken egg capable of smashing a hard stone to pieces? In front of absolute power, the weak have no chance to win. The reason that you don't understand is because you have never experienced an era of bloodshed, of corpses piled into corpses, of battlefields filled with blood. You are simply incapable of understanding when I say these things. If it weren't for the Heaven Master asking me to say a few words, I wouldn't even bother wasting the effort. You speak as if you've experienced such a thing, said one instructor, unconvinced. Long Chen then glanced over at that elder who was a human-ranked instructor. Since Long Chen was so young, the elder was dissatisfied to see Long Chen talk like he had more experience. I've killed more life forms than you've seen in your entire lifetime, said Long Chen indifferently. An uproar erupted throughout the plaza. Wasn't that far too brazen to say? Ha ha ha, what a huge joke. Just the academy's disciples are numbered in millions and millions. If you want to brag, then at least try to have a bottom line, sneered that instructor. Long Chen shook his head. He couldn't be bothered to explain anything to these people who had never seen the world. As time went on, he found that the academy was filled with even more immature people. Instructor Long Chen, we believe you. Your power proves your words. We don't believe that such a prideful person would just brag. Only people with no ability like frogs at the bottom of a well would question that there is a whole world outside of their well, said Zhang Xiu loudly. Long Chen laughed. These two girls really were interesting. They didn't know how to scheme at all. Were they not afraid of these old fellows causing trouble for them in the future for this? Well, we've gone off topic. Let us return to the main point. My theory is that there is no such thing as someone weaker defeating someone stronger. Since many people don't understand, I will explain in detail. An ant biting an elephant to death. A wasp stinging a dragon to death. 
These are typical examples of weaker beings beating stronger existences. But in the immortal world, there is a story of an elephant falling asleep. A kind of ant then crawls into the elephant's ears and eats its brain. As the elephant is powerless to expel it, it dies. The second example is the golden ring wasp, which is no bigger than an inch. Its venom occupies the majority of its body, and its stinger can pierce rock. Even a dragon's hide is unable to block it, so the dragon will be stung to death. People are the same. In this world, there is a profession called assassins. They are also typical examples of the weaker beating the stronger. Existences that fight across realms as easily as eating. However, who is weaker and stronger isn't based purely on the size of their body, their physical power, or their cultivation base. To use the area that you are strongest in to defeat your opponent's weakest area is the essence of battle. The elite group's disciples can be said to not be strong in overall power. Likewise. When it comes to Li Kei and Zhang Changsheng, there is a large gap between them when discussing pure power. However, Li Kei's current strongest point is that he dares to risk his life, while Zhang Changsheng doesn't. Due to this, Li Kei was able to defeat Zhang Changsheng's trump cards twice. In truth, he didn't defeat his trump cards. It was Zhang Changsheng who changed them midway. The first time. Zhang Changsheng was caught off guard because Li Kei completely ignored his attack and merely aimed directly for his vitals, forcing him to switch to blocking midway. This resulted in him being instantly defeated. The second time, Zhang Changsheng was enraged by his defeat. So upon gaining a second chance, he made his determination not to change his technique midway again. He wanted to force Li Kei into a life and death exchange, trying to scare him. However, Li Kei ignored this provocation, simply unleashing his own attack. If neither side changed techniques, then they wouldn't merely be exchanging injuries but dying together instead. Under the threat of death, Zhang Changshen broke. He didn't want to die, so he changed moves midway again and was defeated again. The other disciples of the elite group are the same. They won just like this. During this month, I only taught them this one thing. When you have nothing else but still wish to change your fate, you must risk your life to grasp that one chance. Only once you grasp enough opportunities will you possess the power to change your fate. Use your strongest aspect to defeat your opponent's weakest aspect. If you still can't win, then just kill yourself by bashing your head in with a block of rotten tofu. Long Chen's voice resounded throughout the plaza. After that, everyone looked at the elite group's disciples. With their confident gazes, they were like sharp swords that had finally shed their rust and were showing their light. Suddenly, clapping rang out and Heaven Master Yun Yang said, Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I haven't heard something so marvelous in a long time. The best part is that Instructor Long Chen's theories have been put to the test and displayed for all of us today. They are truly powerful words. It's far better than the rest of us who only know how to discuss things in theory Heaven Master Yun Yang and the others were mostly experienced when it came to cultivation and the various realms. However, in terms of actual combat, they were weaker. As the God Institute's various departments had to manage each other, their instructors rarely entered the battlefield. As a result, when the instructors taught combat techniques, it was mostly techniques for the martial stage. But Long Chen's combat techniques were for killing. There was a qualitative difference between the two. Heaven Master, you praise me too much. This little one will get an ego like this. I'd ask Heaven Master to give me advice. Long Chen bowed slightly toward Heaven Master Yun Yang. For him to directly speak of his own shortcomings without hiding anything was something worthy of respect. All right, then from today onward, you can start holding classes. The lower three floors of the Divine Scripture Pavilion are now freely open to you. Congratulations, Instructor Long Chen, said Heaven Master Yun Yang. Long Chen was delighted to hear that. The place he yearned to go to the most was precisely the Divine Scripture Pavilion. That was also one of the targets that the Dragon Expert had sent him here for. Suddenly, a crowd of people pushed toward him. Instructor Long Chen, I want to book a lesson for tomorrow. Stop pushing. I am first in line, bastard. Do you want to die? I am first in line. I'm under your feet right now. So get up before I beat you up. 
Countless disciples flooded toward Long Chen for classes. Seeing this scene, Long Chen smiled. I won't be lacking money in the future, right? My first step toward cultivating the immortal path has been taken. Brothers, wait for me. Chapter 2848 Chu Kuang Long Chen and Heaven Master Yun Yang's wager was concluded in a stunning fashion, and it shook the entire God Institute. For a while, the name of Boss Long San resounded loudly. This name even spread beyond the God Institute to the other institutes. After all, someone who had joined the academy as a worker and become a teacher in just a matter of days was unprecedented in living memory. He also passed full marks for the Pill Institute's exam, beat up the instructor on his first day of classes, and after being disciplined, he directly took the exam to become an instructor. In just a month, he also turned a group of trash into a true elite group. Any one of these feats was shocking. If it was just one, perhaps people would think that it was luck. But everything that Long Chen had done showed that it was his true power. With Long Chen formally being an instructor and not required to wear his instructor robes, countless disciples requested classes with him. Instructors could hold classes once every three days. And since his next 30 classes were fully booked, others would need to wait at least three months for the next opening. Naturally. The first three classes were reserved for Mu King Guyan and the others. She had long since been prepared and had simply been waiting for Long Chen to win the gamble to formally attend his class. With Long Chen's victory, Mu King Guyan and the others were overjoyed. Long Chen was even stronger than they had imagined. All their efforts had paid off. At this moment, Long Chen walked alongside Mu King Guyan, appearing especially conspicuous as he was the only one wearing black in a sea of white. Countless disciples stared at him enviously when he passed. It could be said that he was the one to attract the greatest attention within the entire academy. Other than the dean, even institute heads had to wear their own specific robes as specified by the rules. Because of it, Long Chen could be considered to have one of the privileges of the dean. In his black robes, he was stared at wherever he went. Although his clothes were shabby, it didn't stop him from appearing above the common crowd. Congratulations on your fame in the God Institute. I don't know just how many people worship you now. Many people stared at Long Chen as he passed, whispering to themselves. Some female disciples in particular were attracted to his wildness. He felt both dangerous and mysterious, and this gave him a unique attractiveness. It made people want to probe his secrets. Some female disciples even waved to him as he passed. Long Chen nodded back to them returning their greeting, but his expression was completely indifferent, as if all of this was unable to draw his attention. It was Mu King Guyan who became excited on his behalf. Just walking with him seemed to be letting her take advantage of his light. Worship? No. The women mostly are drawn by a desire to subdue and attract. It's either to take me captive or ask for protection. As for the men, it's mostly fear and jealousy. If they were given a chance to destroy me, they wouldn't hesitate Long Chen shook his head. This was not worship. Mu King Guyan was still too immature in this aspect. Brother San, you're clearly young, even younger than most of us. Why do you always talk like you're old and experienced? Asked Mu King Guyan with a smile. Mu King Guyan was actually a few years older than Long Chen, but she addressed him the same as the others, because Brother Long felt a bit more estranged than Brother San. Perhaps my heart is already old. In the lower world, I dreamed of becoming a god or immortal. In our legends, ascending meant an endless life, roaming the nine heavens, being free and unrestrained. There was no bitterness, no pain. But after ascending, I found that I jumped from one game board to another game board, from one sea of bitterness into another sea of bitterness. However, the game board is now bigger, and the sea of bitterness is deeper. If I didn't have my goals, Perhaps I wouldn't even know how to live. The immortal world is completely different from what I imagined. The rules here are all rotten, and the system is corrupt. Even worse, the people are vicious and sinister. I don't like it. Sighed Long Chen. On the martial heaven continent, people viewed gods and immortals as perfection. They thought that ascension meant flying free of any bindings, of any vexations. As expected, the greater the hope, the greater the disappointment. The High Firmament Academy was like a mirror. Through it, 
Long Chen saw a miniature version of the entire immortal world. This was no wonderland but a larger, darker, and bloodier world. You can't put it like that. The immortal world is so big that you can't even imagine it. It is said that it has no end. So there are countless miracles within it. There are also countless dangerous areas and secret realms with mysteries to uncover. We shouldn't just look at the bad side. We should look at the good side too. That good side is what drives us to cultivate, said Mu Qingyan. Long Chen smiled and nodded. You're right. Those beautiful things are what gives us the motivation to live. I have to think of a way to change this attitude of mine. Maybe by staying with youngsters like you. I'll also become younger. You're talking like you're old again. Laugh Mu Qingyan. We should discuss our business. Three days later is our class. So I've called back all the disciples of the Unfettered Alliance. The number of people might surpass the norm. But I'm sure that Brother San has no problem with this. Right. Of course there is no problem. But I see that you're very impatient. Why is that? Asked Long Chen. The divine competition is about to start. That's the turning point of our lives. And we must grasp it. Brother San. You're our only hope for us to defeat the Prime Glory Alliance and Chu Kuang. Mu Qingyan looked at Long Chen almost pleadingly. For a powerful woman like Mu Qingyan to reveal such a look showed that she had bet everything on Long Chen. Ha ha ha. How unexpected. Truly unexpected. The Mu Qingyan who previously viewed herself as unmatched is actually begging others. It seems that to defeat a certain Chu, you've racked your brain for schemes. Now you no longer mind lowering yourself to someone else. Ha huh, before Long Chen could reply. A sneer rang out and a group of people walked over. That voice caused Mu Qingyan's body to shudder with rage. Killing intent blazed in her eyes. Long Chen then looked over. It was a group of over ten people at the peak of the mortal transcendence realm. As flame fluctuations came from their bodies, they must have condensed their divine flame seed. As for their leader, it was a tall, handsome man with a sword on his back. Although he was handsome, with the way his mouth curved up and his jaw stuck out, he gave off an exceedingly arrogant feeling. Even when he walked, he seemed to be swaggering. Just the way he walked gave Long Chen an urge to slap him. Chu Kuang, you bastard. Clean your mouth. This time, we won't stop until death. Shouted Mu Qingyan. Just you? Or just him? This man was Chu Kuang. Just like his name. He was incredibly arrogant. He pointed his finger at Long Chen disdainfully. Point at me again and I'll make it so that you don't see tomorrow's sun. Long Chen looked at Chu Kuang coldly. This person gave him an extremely detestable feeling. That feeling was strange and unclear. Chapter 2849 Despicable Ha 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 Long San, is it? You're an instructor now, so I can't directly challenge you to a battle. Do you dare to challenge me? Asked Chu Kuang disdainfully. Chu Kuang, you bastard. You've already ignited your divine flame, yet you force your realm to stay at the peak of mortal transcendence just to block other people's paths. You're indescribably despicable. Raged Mu Qingyan. Long Chen had also noticed that Chu Kuang's aura was fluctuating. It was like a volcano on the verge of erupting, but some seal was keeping it suppressed. Through Mu Qingyan's words, Long Chen understood. This person was already half a step into the next realm, but he had used a secret technique to pause his realm right in between the mortal transcendence realm and the divine flame realm. Even though Chu Kuang hadn't displayed his power, Long Chen could sense an extremely powerful force within him. It was a kind of hidden power. What a joke. Didn't I already give you a chance to submit to me back then? You refused to see my kindness. So you naturally must pay the price. Snorted Chu Kuang. I, Mu Qingyan, will not submit to any person. Said Mu Qingyan coldly. Haha, <laughs> aren't you submitting right now? It seems that you're about to take your clothes off for him. Sneered Chu Kuang. You, Mu Qingyan was enraged. When cursing involved a man and a woman, it was always the woman who came out at a disadvantage. Hence, Long Chen patted Mu Qingyan lightly. If they continued cursing, Mu Qingyan would probably cry in rage. He then looked at Chu Kuang and shook his head. You're just an idiot who was spoiled rotten by the seniors in your family. Someone like you has never suffered in their entire life. However, I'll still give you a piece of advice, 
Such a thing is very bad for you. Once you finally do meet your comeuppance, it will be very bad. Youngster, be careful. Ha ha ha. Chu Kuang raised his head and laughed. He then looked at the people behind him. Someone dares to give me a lesson? Ha ha ha. You're making me laugh to death. The people behind Chu Kuang also laughed, seemingly finding Long Chen's ignorance to be hilarious. Long Chen also laughed, but he didn't say anything. He just walked away with Mu Qingyan. Rather than wasting time on these idiots, he was more interested in finding what he wanted in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. Hold it. The young master has not finished talking. Who said you could leave Ah? One of those people blocked Long Chen's path, only to be kicked in the crotch. A loud sound then rang out as his bones broke. He rolled away. Those in the mortal transcendence realm could be considered to have a body between the immortal and mortal. In this state, healing was more difficult, and their body was more sensitive. This one kick directly destroyed that person's life rod. Other than the pain, he would probably be cut off from his ability to procreate for the rest of his life if he didn't spend a large sum on medicine. Courting death, Chu Kuang and the others furiously took out their weapons. However, just at this moment, hundreds of law enforcement disciples came rushing over. These people were about to curse whoever was making a ruckus when they suddenly saw it was Chu Kuang and Long Chen. A shiver then ran through their bodies. Chu Kuang was ranked one on the human tier divine rankings and was renowned for his viciousness. His background in particular was tough, so he was an existence that was almost untouchable in the God Institute. No one dared to provoke him. As for Long Chen, he was a shooting star amongst the newcomers and had caused huge waves as soon as he joined the academy. He was merciless and domineering, able to kill people with a wave of his hand. He also couldn't be provoked. Hence, the law enforcement disciples cursed their bad luck. This just had to occur on their shift, forcing them to come. I don't dare to try to mediate whatever enmity lies between the two of you, so I'll immediately report this to the discipline hall. I'm sure the hall master will judge things for you, said one of the smarter law enforcement disciples. If he didn't want to get burned, he would just have to toss this burning potato to someone else. No need. Chu Kuang waved his hand. He didn't conceal any of his killing intent when he looked at Long Chen. Long San, don't think that you can do as you please with just your little ability. I'll teach you that in the God Institute, you are nothing more than a bug that can be crushed at any moment. The God Institute is not just what you see. Here, you are nothing more than rootless duckweed. I, Chu Kuang, can crush you to death as easily as turning my hand. If you wish to go against me, then just wait. I will slowly play with you to death. Chu Kuang didn't give Long Chen a chance to reply. He left with his people. Watching him leave, Long Chen shook his head. I don't even know how many people like him that I've killed. But there are always more begging to be killed. Not killing them feels like letting them down. Chu Kuang is dangerous. He has a powerful background that protects him from all his sins. But he also meticulously makes sure not to break the rules of the God Institute. So nothing can be done about him. In this divine competition, we must beat the Prime Glory Alliance. We lost last time. If we lose again this time, we'll no longer have a chance to win. Sighed Mu Qingyan. What is this competition? Asked Long Chen. He didn't pay much attention to such things, but Mu Qingyan had brought it up so much that he was curious. This competition relates to your qualifications in the Inner Academy. Brother San, you seem unaware, but the High Firmament Academy is frighteningly big. We are currently in the Outer Academy, but there is still the Inner Academy which is the core of the Academy. Entering the Outer Academy isn't hard, but entering the Inner Academy is on another level. In particular, the God Institute and the Immortal Institute's competition is extremely fierce. Only one side that obtains the crown gains the qualification to take the exam. And if they pass the exam, they can enter the Inner Academy. Last time, we lost. The Prime Glory Alliance's disciples passed through to the Inner Academy. But Chu Kuang intentionally failed the exam to stay in the Outer Academy. Hence, he can continue participating in the competition. His goal is to block us from entering the Inner Academy. Furthermore, the people in his alliance only get stronger after a year of cultivating in the Inner Academy. There's already a year's difference between us. 
If we lose again, the difference will only grow, and there will never be a chance for us to reverse the tides. Then Chu Kuang will have achieved his goal, said Mu Qingyan. Chu Kuang doesn't mind wasting a year of his time, asked Long Chen curiously. He has a powerful enough backer that even in the outer academy, he obtains the same amount of resources as that of an inner academy disciple. He just wants to stall us, sighed Mu Qingyan. Long Chen shook his head. This person really is shameless. Isn't he just drawing hate for himself? Is he not afraid of someone cutting him down for this? Greed could destroy a person, but first it drove a person crazy. This Chu Kuang's greed seemed so great that it didn't leave him any chance to live. By blocking everyone here, he was just courting death. Long Chen didn't know what Mu Qingyan was thinking, but she suddenly blushed slightly and said, Brother San, I'd like to ask for your help. Chapter 2850 Historical Records Upon seeing Mu Qingyan blushing, Long Chen's heart skipped a beat, but acting indifferent, he said, Speak, I'll help if I can. Mu Qingyan nervously said, I want, I want to know, if the elite group can join the unfettered alliance. Long Chen instantly relaxed and smiled. The elite group isn't mine. I have no opinion on that. Hearing that response, Mu Qingyan was delighted. She then grabbed his hand. Thank you, Brother San. I've asked them if they want to join before, but they always said that they needed your approval first. Many instructors formed their own groups treating them as their accomplishments and using this as chips to rise in instructor rank. For the elite group to join the unfettered alliance was like taking them away from Long Chen. Mu Qingyan wouldn't even ask if she didn't have a choice. It was because the elite group's display was truly stunning. They had all entered the divine rankings. Furthermore, their potential was even more shocking. The unfettered alliance's power would instantly soar with them joining. Mu Qingyan was delighted. But then she suddenly realized that she was holding Long Chen's hand. She turned completely red and hastily let go, cursing herself for forgetting her manners. Long Chen smiled very naturally. Those fellows were lost in their own dreams before, using arrogance to cover up their feeling of inferiority. Now they can prove themselves, and they're going to need others to recognize them. Your unfettered alliance has many beautiful women. He those fellows will definitely be working hard in the future. Brother San, this is essentially taking away one of your cards for being promoted. Are you really not mad? Asked Mu Qingyan. Long Chen's eyes were bright and clear. She could see that he was sincere. I don't need such things, said Long Chen. Brother San, you really are a good person, said Mu Qingyan softly. Long Chen laughed. I'm delighted to hear it. It seems that I've never been called like that in my time in the lower world. Long Chen had grown up being cursed at. When was he ever called a good person? Hence, this praise made Long Chen feel a little happy. Brother San is cold on the outside but warm on the inside. Your sharp edges and fierceness naturally make it seem like you don't like getting close to others. But you really are a good person inside, said Mu Qingyan genuinely. This was her evaluation of him after knowing him for this short while. Although she hadn't talked to him for very long, she saw that he was a very simple person who disdained to play petty tricks. Brother San, we've arrived at the Divine Scripture Pavilion, but I won't accompany you inside. For me to enter requires money because I don't have the privilege of an instructor. Mu Qingyan pointed to the large tower up ahead. She had come with him here for the matter of the unfettered alliance. Now that Long Chen had agreed, she had to tell everyone the good news. Seeing her leave, Long Chen shook his head. Looking at her felt like looking at his past self. Now it seemed that he could rarely get excited about things like this. The Divine Scripture Pavilion had nine floors, and its exterior was very simple. But when he walked in, he found that this place was its own world. After he handed over his status plate, the disciple who checked it was startled. He then looked up at Long Chen and eyed him for a while before returning it. Clearly, this disciple had also heard of his name. The first floor scriptures are arranged by category. If you wish to find a specific one, you should look in the specific section slowly. If you just search blindly, you might not find what you're looking for even after a few years. Reminded that disciple. Many thanks. Long Chen received a jade tile from the disciple. After that. His spiritual strength entered, 
and information poured into his head. This was the arrangement of the Divine Scripture Pavilion. When he saw the diagram, he jumped in shock. The Divine Scripture diagram was actually gigantic and contained countless tomes. There were countless classifications, from big to small. For example, there was forging as a major category, and then it was divided into soul items, spirit items, heavy items, devil weapons, Tao weapons, demonic weapons, etc. There were hundreds of further divisions, and then many more further classifications all the way down to specific topics such as foundational principles, the history of certain items, and introductory programs. Even a novice wouldn't need a master if they came here. They could use these tomes to cultivate themselves. From a sea of topics, Long Chen found the history section. He grew excited, but then he saw countless topics within this section, making his head buzz. The reason he had come to this section was to find any information related to the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art, Lord Brahma, Fallen Day Knight, and the other gods. He wanted to see if he could perhaps trace some clues to find out the truth. However, there were countless regions, sects, nations, wars, and other topics here. They were arranged according to year. Looking at this, Long Chen was dejected. How am I supposed to search through this? Long Chen had an urge to cry. Just as he felt a trace of excitement, a bucket of ice water poured over him. Long Chen then thickened his face and entered the history section. The unending bookshelves were filled with ancient records. Someone claustrophobic would probably die of fright in an instant if they were here. Looking at the vast sea of books, Long Chen felt lost. He didn't know where the records of Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night were located. He also didn't know what section had information on cultivation techniques. After wandering for a while, he suddenly noticed an elder with a cleaning rag. That elder carefully took out a book and wiped it. Long Chen was startled. He curiously asked, Senior, do the books here get dusty? The books don't get dusty. What gets dusty is the human heart. I'm simply checking to see if their core energy has gotten too low or not. When that energy reaches a critical level, it unleashes a noisy alarm, answered the elder. He continued wiping the book with his head lowered. His movements were very light, very slow, but very steady. After he finished wiping it, he returned it to its original location and picked up the next one. Only then did he seem to react and realize that someone was talking to him. He then turned to look at Long Chen. The elder's face was covered in wrinkles to the point that it looked like tree bark and his eyes were filled with the vicissitudes of time. He looked like an ancient scholar who had seen through the world. Junior Long Chen greets Senior Long Chen bowed. He rarely took the initiative to bow to others, but this elder somehow made him automatically feel a deep veneration. Even Long Chen didn't know why. Haha, <laughs> young man, you're too courteous. An old man overseeing this scripture pavilion doesn't dare to accept such etiquette the elder laughed. Senior is too humble. With your learning, Junior will probably never be able to catch up even with a lifetime of studying. Your temperament already proves your power, said Long Chen with a smile. Haha, <laughs> you have some manners, unlike others who shout at this old man all the time. I'm very moved. However, if you praise me this much, I won't dare to accept. Have you encountered some difficulty? Why not tell me and see if I can help you out, said the elder kindly. Junior wishes to know if there are any records here related to Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night, asked Long Chen directly. Chapter 2851 An amazing figure the elder smiled and said, The High Firmament Academy might not be the strongest academy within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, but when it comes to ancient tomes, it definitely has the most complete collection. You will be able to find whatever you wish to investigate but the precondition is that you have enough time to research. Senior, can you give me some directions? I wish to learn the history of Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night, said Long Chen. If he learned their history, perhaps he could learn more about the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art and the Pill Sovereign's memories. Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night, the former claims to be the ancestor of the Pill Flame, and the latter claims to be the ancestor of Pill Tools. In truth, whether you look at their information or not is the same. That so-called history is nothing more than stories left behind by the victors to embellish themselves and belittle their enemies. Anything that could be recorded has gone through a filter. 
what could not be told to others has been erased. So it would be better for you to look through the fragments and scraps of history and unofficial history, piecing them together to look at things from more angles. Then you might be able to find a trustworthy history. Well, most importantly, any history relating to them is not found on the lower three floors here. You are still unqualified to research information on them, said the elder. Senior's words are deeply moving. Junior will remember then. Long Chen bowed. This elder had already made it clear. The so-called history here was nothing more than the victors singing their own praises. Young man, if you have the time, you should read more. In the academy, you will see vast heaven and earth. Although every writer wrote using their own eyes to judge this world, every book you read is another viewpoint. You will slowly find that this world is filled with wonders and colors. Although you have deliberately suppressed the darkness in your heart, you should know. The heart can be suppressed for a while, but the longer it is blocked, the greater the eruption. If it does explode, there is no taking it back, said the elder as he finished cleaning this area and walked away. Long Chen was stuck in his original location, his heart pounding. The elder's final words thundered through his mind. Was he not referring to the purgatory eyes? The purgatory eyes had been sealed by the dragon expert. But even that expert had told Long Chen that this was just a temporary seal. If it was sealed for too long, the danger would grow and grow. Until eventually, once it erupted, it would devour his mind. Senior Long Chen suddenly realized that this mysterious elder might have more pointers, And he rushed over to where he went. But when Long Chen passed the shelf, he found that the elder had vanished. He looked through all the surrounding bookshelves, but the elder was gone. Suddenly, a book fell from one of the shelves. Long Chen caught it and looked at the title, Nine Heavens Ten Lands Yearly Report. These books were not to be slowly flipped through. They had a fingernail-sized crystal embedded into them. When Long Chen's spiritual strength entered the crystal, the information poured into his mind. This book could be considered an introduction to the immortal world's history. There was the current era, the ancient era, the archaic era, the immemorial era, the desolate era, and the great primal chaos era. The current era referred to the past million years. The ancient era was 1 million to 10 million years ago, while the archaic era referred to 10 million to 100 million years ago. However, things became murky when it came to the immemorial era and the desolate era. These periods couldn't be calculated by years. According to historical records, the immemorial era referred to the birth of the world of cultivation. Thus, the immemorial era was termed the Great Beginning. Cultivation only began to exist in the immemorial era. It was said that the cultivation techniques of that time were the most primitive. They were all simple and crude. So much time had passed that everything was muddled. Before that was the desolate era. It was a time lacking any sense of order. At that period, humanity was still at the bottom level of the food chain, and there was no written language recorded. There were only some ancient murals that managed to survive, and those records showed that life back then was very difficult. In the desolate era, it was the various wild beasts and other life forms that were the masters. Humanity barely survived between the cracks. It could be said that humanity's memories could only stretch back to the desolate era. Although there were no words left behind, there were at least some carvings. The great primal chaos era was the true mess of unknowns. It was the era before humanity's history. So it was an era of unknowns to humanity. However, just because humanity didn't know didn't mean that there was no history. Other races might be aware of some things from that time. After all. Humanity was just one race amongst millions and millions of races. The immortal world had countless races with their own history and inheritances. The High Firmament Academy only had a collection of humanity's history. Yet, just that portion was as vast as a sea. This one introductory book that Long Chen was reading already made him feel minuscule. The Martial Heaven Continent's history stretched back over a hundred thousand years, but it was incredibly incomplete. However, the immortal world's history was practically terrifying. There were clear records all the way back to tens of millions of years. So many things had happened during these tens of millions of years. Research produced new findings, and various domains gave rise to countless shocking geniuses. There were people innovating things every day. Because of it, 
learning was constantly being accumulated into an intimidating mountain of knowledge. Looking at the endless bookshelves around him, Long Chen felt a wave of powerlessness. Suddenly, he had a thought and ran to a different region. This was the history of the various regions within the immortal world. After flipping through the shelves rapidly, his eyes fell upon a certain book, Historical Chronicle of the Ying Prefecture. Long Chen instantly became excited. His mother, Luo Ningxuang, was from the Ying Prefecture's Luo family. After ascending, he finally found a clue to his mother's whereabouts. The light sound of sweeping continued over and over. An elderly man was sweeping the ground with his head down. At this moment, another elder walked over to him. This elder was precisely the one that Long Chen had just encountered in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. The elder then respectfully bowed to the sweeping old man. The sweeper didn't look up from his sweeping. He only asked, Did you see him? Disciple saw him. His darkness is shocking. Even amongst nine star heirs, I've never seen or heard of such a thing. His potential is terrifying. So he is most likely the legendary destined heir. Disciple is still hesitating over what to do and wishes to ask master for advice, said the elder. While still sweeping, the sweeper shook his head. You are the dean of the High Firmament Academy. Why are you pushing the problem to me? I am currently nothing more than an ordinary sweeping worker. If Long Chen learned that this elder was actually the dean with the greatest authority within the entire High Firmament Academy, he would definitely lurch. The dean said, but this matter has giant implications. It will sooner or later bring Lord Brahma, Fallen Day Knight, and the others. Is the High Firmament Academy afraid of them? Asked the sweeper indifferently. Not afraid exactly, but, the dean shook his head. If you're not afraid, what is there for you to worry about? I'm worried that Long Chen is a double-sided sword. His purgatory eyes have been sealed. Moreover, when I looked at his other side, I saw something that made my hair stand on end, said the dean. Don't look at what you shouldn't look at. Don't listen to what you shouldn't listen to. Everything will come as it will. Just treat Long Chen like an ordinary disciple, said the sweeper. Yes, disciple understands. The dean then bowed and left. As for the sweeper, he was still patiently sweeping the ground. A gust of wind then blew by, sending the leaves he had piled up flying. The elder once more began sweeping them calmly, neither fast nor slow. After that, another gust of wind blew by. The elder smiled slightly and started sweeping from the start once more. Chapter 2852 The Ying Prefecture's Luo Family The Ying Prefecture's Luo Family's resurgence within the Ying Prefecture can be traced back to the Archaic Era. However, due to a lack of any illustrious history beforehand, there is no way to trace the beginning of their family. The Luo family's resurgence started at the hands of Luo Changfeng and continued for 3,170,000 years, making them one of the three overlords of the Ying Prefecture. Long Chen quickly found records of the Luo family. They were originally a very small family, but after they gave rise to Luo Changfeng, the entire family's fate changed. The Ying Prefecture originally had three overlords. But the Luo family replaced one and was so dominating that they became the head of the three overlords. The family that had been replaced by the Luo family was the Chu family. When the Luo family started rising, they were faced with many blockades and bloody battles from the Chu family. But even then, the Chu family was unable to stop their rise. The Luo family was originally only intending on standing on the same level as the three overlords. But the Chu family didn't give them any chance. They wanted to pull the Luo family up by the roots and crush them. As for the other two families, they were conservative, choosing to stand by and watch. The Chu family, on the other hand, was extremely powerful and domineering. The other two families had been forced to endure that arrogance for a long time, so they were happy to see the Chu family face bad luck. As a result, while they supported the Chu family on the surface, they secretly gave the Luo family even more support. It was a win for them either way. In the end, the Luo family managed to rise through those circumstances, overthrowing the Chu family and forcing them to flee the Ying Prefecture. All of the Chu family's properties in the Ying Prefecture were then taken by the Luo family. Originally, people thought that the Chu family would slink away and slowly fade away after taking such damage. After all, 
their elites had been slain in that bloody battle. However, unexpectedly, after a few thousand years, the Chu family escaped to the Shen prefecture and hid their identity. They then began to recuperate until they suddenly erupted with shocking power in 20,000 years, taking over the Shen prefecture. After hiding themselves for 20,000 years, they no longer concealed themselves. They revealed that they were the Ying prefecture's Chu family, and furthermore, they swore to slaughter all the people of the Luo family. However, even though the Chu family had become the overlord of the Shen prefecture, the Luo family also managed to develop for many years and were even stronger than before. The two powers then fought for countless years. Rivers of blood were shed between them, but neither was able to crush the other. The two sides were now mortal enemies. As long as they had the opportunity, they would fight to the death. The enmity between them had already sunk into the bone, the blood, and the soul of every member of the two families. However, in comparison to the two, the Luo family was slightly stronger. The Chu family had used countless sinister schemes but were unable to rattle the Luo family's foundation. Due to the slight power discrepancy, the Chu family was forced to use all sorts of schemes. But the more they did so, the more others looked down on them. In the end, the Shen prefecture's Chu family gained the reputation of being shameless and despicable. Long Chen had looked through this entire section on the Luo family but he didn't find anything relating to his mother. However, that made sense. These historical records only contained major events. They wouldn't include a random woman. Although he didn't find any clue about his mother specifically, he did see hope. Hopefully, once his position was stable, he could take a trip to the Luo family. However, before going, he would have to accumulate enough strength. A family that had been developing for this many years had to be gigantic. In such a family, human emotions were nothing compared to profit. If he wanted to have a voice in such a place, he had to have a corresponding power. The immortal world was even more merciless than the mortal world. As the longevity of the people here was too long, they gave birth to countless descendants. Hence, familial affection was not the ties upon which inheritances were passed down. The laws here were cruel and merciless. Power was the most important thing. Everything here is important. The senior is right. I should read more, muttered Long Chen to himself. This history touched upon the foundation of the entire immortal world. The more he understood, the more beneficial it would be. However, there were simply too many books here. Reading them one by one would take too much time. Time which Long Chen didn't have. Fortunately, there was a palm-sized rune on every bookshelf. This formation rune was connected to all the books on the shelf, and that was over a thousand books. If someone's spiritual strength was strong enough, they wouldn't need to read the books one by one. They could read them one bookshelf after another. Long Chen's hand then pressed on the rune, and over a thousand runes lit up throughout the bookshelf. Like tadpoles, those runes swam toward Long Chen, spreading from his arm up to his head. When the first rune entered his mind, Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. That one rune contained the contents of the entire book. It was a forceful branding that caused pain to his soul. At the same time as his soul twinged, his spiritual strength was exhausted. After that, more and more of those runes entered his mind, sealing their information in his soul. After a full incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen's face was as pale as paper. A bout of dizziness almost overcame him. If he didn't lean on the bookshelf, he would have fallen. A single bookshelf's books exhausted almost 90% of my spiritual strength. Moreover, there are at least millions of these bookshelves on this floor. If I go one day at a time, it will take forever just to read through them all. Long Chen felt profoundly helpless. He walked unsteadily outside, feeling pans throughout his head. This was a natural reaction after absorbing so much information. Fortunately, his spiritual strength was powerful enough to absorb all this information. If it was someone else, they would have severely overdrafted their spiritual strength and fainted. There was no chance of them recovering without a year of rest. Instructor Long Chen, there is a soul stone recovery room over here. You can rest for a few days. With it. You can recover most of your spiritual strength before leaving. A worker saw Long Chen walking away and gave him a reminder. 
Those who entered the Divine Scripture Pavilion all used up a great deal of their spiritual strength to absorb so much information. Hence, the God Institute installed Soul Stone Recovery Rooms to encourage their disciples to read more. These rooms were available to disciples for free so that they could recover. Otherwise, they would be like Long Chen. Without 10 to 15 days, there was no way to recover from using up 90% of his spiritual strength unless he used some outside help. This was a good thing. Long Chen then thanked the worker for the reminder, and the worker brought him to the room. There were hundreds of them, many of them with people inside. Some even had multiple people. Long Chen then entered a room specifically for instructors. He was the only one present, and at the center of the room was a foot-long crystal. His soul was instantly refreshed when he entered the room. As the disciple activated the formation for Long Chen, a dense spiritual aura instantly filled the room. This was the best condition for restoring the soul. Long Chen once more thanked the disciple. Once the disciple left, Long Chen opened the divine gate within his mind. See, the divine gate star shuddered, and like a whale opening its mouth, the spiritual aura of this place rushed toward it. After four hours, Long Chen let out a long sigh. He felt reinvigorated as his spiritual strength was fully recovered. What a marvelous object. It helped me recover so quickly. Long Chen looked at the soul stone in amazement. The academy truly had many treasures. Such a good thing was being offered up for free. What Long Chen didn't know was that others required three to five days to fully recover with the soul stone. It was only due to the divine gate star that his recovery was so quick. Continue. Long Chen then ran back inside the pavilion and chose another bookshelf. He absorbed its contents once again. Chapter 2853 Giving Lessons This Time Long Chen chose a bookshelf containing introductory books to cultivation fundamentals. This kind of information was equally important to Long Chen. Although Long Chen had his own cultivation method, he didn't know how others in the immortal world cultivated. He didn't even know about the realms. Furthermore, the cultivation types in the immortal world were thousands of times more complex than on the martial heaven continent. There were all kinds of different ways to cultivate, giving rise to countless branches and sects. If he didn't even have a basic understanding of these things, he would be at a disadvantage against many opponents in the future. This information was a must. There was just as much information about cultivating as there was about history. Hence, Long Chen absorbed the whole bookshelf restored his spiritual strength, and then absorbed another history bookshelf. He alternated just like this, seeing Long Chen recover and then go absorb more knowledge so rapidly dumbfounded the workers and disciples studying here. Instructor Long Chen, is your soul able to endure this? Asked one astonished disciple. They normally absorbed the books one by one in order to reduce the impact on their souls, but Long Chen was going bookshelf by bookshelf. Although that increased his efficiency, it was harmful. The different bookshelves had different runes. Sometimes they could clash, resulting in even more spiritual strength being drained. Moreover, it also hurt, almost like spiritual torture. A normal person wouldn't be able to endure such a thing. Furthermore, while ordinarily it took someone at least an hour to absorb a bookshelf's information, Long Chen only used an incense stick's worth of time. That kind of rapid absorption would cause an even greater impact on the soul. Although there were some ruthless people throughout history who had done the same, they would always need to leave and wait a few more days after absorbing an entire bookshelf's information. Even though the soul could be recovered, the mental impact was difficult to endure. In order to protect the information within the books, the runes that entered the soul were somewhat forceful. They caused pain in order to stimulate a person's memory. Absorbing an entire bookshelf worth of knowledge was like undergoing a torture session. Even someone with a firm will didn't dare to do it twice in a row because normal people would crumble under that pressure. However, Long Chen had already done it five or six times, dumbfounding the people here. Wasn't this too ruthless? Every time he was done, he turned as pale as paper. That was a clear sign that he was using up too much of his spiritual strength. There was no way he was faking it. Furthermore, someone as illustrious as him would have no need to use little tricks to gain fame. I'm fine. This little bit of pain is nothing to me, said Long Chen. After recovering, he continued studying. 
Watching him go back and forth gave people goosebumps. Had the formations changed on the bookshelves? Were they easier to absorb than before? In the end, one person ended up testing it, only to end up fainting after a few breaths time. Others then carried him off. This was a result of the pain being too much to bear. Even though he still had more spiritual strength to spare, his body automatically protected itself by making him faint, ending the absorption process. After that, Long Chen ran back and forth over ten times before he finally stopped. His soul had actually grown after all the exhaustion and pain. Before this, it took 90% to absorb one bookshelf, but now just 70% was enough. He hadn't expected this to be another method to train the soul. Long Chen had a basic understanding now with all the information he had absorbed, as he was no longer a novice when it came to cultivation in the immortal world. He felt much steadier inside. However, through all this information, he also grew more mystified by everything in the immortal world. This was a world of unknowns waiting for him to explore and excavate its mysteries. Every bit of knowledge he accumulated now could increase his chances of survival in the future Novaloon.com as his cultivation base grew. So would his spiritual strength. Absorbing all these books should also go faster. As long as he persevered he would definitely be able to follow the clues of the nine-star hegemon body art and find where Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight were. Long Chen then returned to his residence to rest. In just a short time, the Unfettered Alliance's people came. That was because they had a lesson every three days. Ba San, hello. When Long Chen walked to the arranged place, he was struck speechless by how packed it was. This room that normally only allowed 300 people to enter was now packed with over 2,000 people. What is going on? Demanded Long Chen. Brother San, in order to save time, I've called back all the members of the Unfettered Alliance. Don't worry, we'll pay according to the number of students. We won't let you lose out, said Mu Qingyan hastily. According to the Academy's rules, instructors could only have 300 people per lesson at most. This was to prevent instructors from swindling money by lowering the quality of the lesson. However, if the disciples themselves didn't care about the numbers, then this rule could be ignored. Even so, for over 2,000 people to come was truly too many. According to the standard price of 50 immortal crystals per student, a single lesson would let him earn 100,000 immortal crystals. That was a shockingly huge sum to Long Chen. This instructor profession was truly a money-making profession. Of course, the majority of instructors only had a few dozen students per lesson. At most, they would have a hundred as full classrooms were rare. As for something like 2,000 people, that was definitely the first in quite a few years. Mu Qingyan was unwilling to waste any time, and she wanted to raise the Unfettered Alliance's power as fast as possible. Hence, all the elites had been gathered. Long Chen was speechless, looking at Mu Qingyan's burning gaze. He knew that she viewed him as an omnipotent existence. She had bet everything on him, and this increased the pressure on Long Chen. Although he hadn't known Mu Qingyan long, his vision was sharp. He saw that Mu Qingyan was going to extreme lengths. It seemed that she was planning on winning or die trying. All right, due to the numbers, we'll modify the lesson from four hours to a full day. But first let me say that I don't like teaching principles or theories. I like to teach through actual combat. All of you should be mentally prepared. If you can't endure it, don't blame me, warned Long Chen. If they wanted training, then this many people would need some extra time. This was essentially giving them six classes rather than one. But Long Chen didn't want to take advantage of them by taking all their money. We will beat the Prime Glory Alliance or die trying shouted the disciples in unison with soaring morale. Perhaps Long Chen really was touched by their morale. The blood in his body that had been cold for so long finally began to stir. All right, if you can endure my training, I guarantee that you will beat the Prime Glory Alliance. Feeling stirred up, Long Chen directly made such a promise. Cheers rang out from the Unfettered Alliance. Chapter 2854 Transmitting the Sword Today is my first lesson to you. If you want to become a true expert, you cannot be afraid of dying. In the mortal world, when my father trained his warriors, he said that once you set foot on the battlefield, your life is no longer your own. 
so you must control your fear of death. Cultivation is the same. The day that you set foot into the cultivation world, you either have to be willing to be trampled by others, or you must stake your life in everything that you do. My original goal in cultivation was to allow myself to live with dignity, but later, I made even higher goals, so I had to work even harder. If you don't have a powerful background, if you don't have powerful trump cards, and you still want to stand out amongst your peers, your only choice is to put everything on the line. Study with your life on the line, cultivate with your life on the line, and do everything you can for every chance to get stronger. If you want to change your fate, you must pay a price. To gain without paying? Impossible. Don't believe that you'll encounter some miracle or find some heaven-defying treasure. Let me put it to you this way. Even if you do encounter a miracle, you need the power to grab it. Otherwise, you'll only be able to watch it slip away from you. Obtaining a treasure? Without the necessary power, you won't be able to get anything valuable, let alone a heaven-defying treasure. Others will come to kill you and take it. You must be strong enough to grasp these opportunities that come to you. Starting today, I'll have you go through the toughest training. You, 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 and you. Come over here. Long Chen chose over 400 people from the group. Adding in the elite group, Mu Qingyan, and the others, there were a total of 500. The divine competition that was coming up was going to be fought in max groups of 500. At this moment, Mu Qingyan was excited. Long Chen was helping her create a powerful group for the competition. The 500 people that I've picked out are all those with higher than average talent. You will temporarily be considered the main combat force, said Long Chen. The chosen disciples cheered upon hearing that, while those that hadn't been chosen were dejected. Those that were chosen shouldn't be happy, and those that weren't picked shouldn't be discouraged. Talent doesn't decide everything. There will be a ranking exam for the main force every 10 days. The last 50 ranks will be washed out from the main force, and then the top 50 from the reserves will be chosen to join. As long as you can excel and work hard, you won't be forgotten. I will give every person a chance, but whether or not you can grasp it is up to yourselves. Furthermore, even those that are not part of the main force must still do their best in order to prepare for the next competition. Whether or not the unfettered alliance wins or not, Chu Kuang is already at the absolute peak of mortal transcendence. No matter how he suppresses it, he can't stay in this realm much longer. He will definitely advance to the Divine Flame Realm. At that time, he will not be qualified to participate in the Divine Competition for the Mortal Transcendence Realm. That means you won't be facing him as an opponent in the next competition. Even without King Gion's lead, you should have a high chance of victory. So every person must work hard for the next competition. Understand, said Long Chen. Understood. The disciples that hadn't been chosen shouted with determination. As for those that had been chosen, they became nervous. There would be a ranking every 10 days, with the bottom 50 being removed. In other words, 1 in 10 people would be squeezed out. Elite group, split into two groups. You're my teaching assistants right now. Help me investigate every person's foundation, said Long Chen. Li Kei and the others were delighted. The 36 of them had actually been promoted to teaching assistants so they could practically be considered half-instructors. Their status was different than before. In the past, they didn't have anyone's recognition. With Long Chen though, their lives had changed. They then began training the Unfettered Alliance's disciples the same way that Long Chen had started with them. Their egos were fully satisfied. After going through Long Chen's hellish training, they now found that there was a huge difference between them and these disciples. Despite that, they didn't look down on them in the slightest, because just a month before, they were far inferior to these disciples. If it weren't for Long Chen, they would still be trash simply waiting for death. The elite group began training the disciples. Long Chen then called over Mu Qingyan for some personal training. Brother San, I'm finally attending your class. Mu Qingyan looked at him worshipfully. She was so excited that she was a bit red. All people liked to worship the strong and Mu Qingyan was no exception. She thirsted to be stronger. Even though Long Chen was younger than her and had a weaker cultivation base, Long Chen seemed to possess limitless power. He was fearless. 
It was precisely due to their close age and comparable cultivation base that she felt that if Long Chen taught her, she would rapidly advance. What weapon are you most skilled in? Asked Long Chen. The sword. Mu Qingyan held her sword confidently. As the number two expert on the divine rankings, she had made profound advancements with her sword. Although she was unable to beat the rank one Chu Kuang, other than him, no disciple in the outer academy was her match. The sword? I'm not too skilled in the sword, but I have a brother who is an expert of the sword Dao. I've learned some superficial knowledge of the sword Dao from him. It should be enough, said Long Chen after some thought. Brother San, if you say it like that, isn't it? Mu Qingyan's expression changed slightly. These words were truly piercing. He wasn't skilled in the sword, but learning some superficial knowledge from one of his brothers would be enough to teach her? That was too hurtful. If someone else said that, she would immediately turn hostile. But these words were coming from Long Chen. Although she was angry, she didn't want to say anything to retort because she didn't want to insult him. Long Chen looked at her and shook his head. Do you think that I've gone too far by saying this? That's simply because you don't know just how terrifying that brother of mine is. His talent is definitely greater than mine. His killing power is even more shocking. Long Chen was referring to Yu Zifeng. He had always felt great admiration for him. His talent and dedication toward the Sword Dao were truly amazing. If Long Chen didn't have the primal chaos bead, the nine star hegemon body art, and the pill sovereign memories, he would have no confidence in being able to beat Yu Zifeng. His talent is even greater than yours, exclaimed Mu Qingyan, unable to believe it. More words are meaningless. If you can receive three blows from my sword, I will join the unfettered alliance. Becoming one of your members and participating in the divine competition Long Chen smiled. All right, then everyone, bear witness. It's a deal. Mu Qingyan was delighted, afraid of him reneging. She immediately backed up and took a defensive stance. Everyone else was also excited to hear this. If Long Chen joined the unfettered alliance, who would be able to stop them? Long Chen received a sword from one of the elite group's disciples. He then looked at Mu Qingyan and shook his head. I was wrong. Three moves is too many. As long as you can receive a single blow, it will be your victory. The sound of his sword coming out of its sheath was like a dragon cry. In that instant, a sharp and unstoppable will erupted. Spastime seemed to be sliced apart by this will, and every disciple's soul quivered. As Long Chen's sword fell, Mu Qingyan turned pale. Her sword then fell, broken. A line of blood flowed down Mu Qingyan's forehead, leaving everyone stunned. Chapter 2855 Long Chen's sword Dao Big Sister Qingyan. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu hastily ran over to Mu Qingyan, checking her injuries. Brother San, what are you doing? Are you trying to kill Big Sister Qingyan? Demanded Zhang Ling angrily. This blow from Long Chen was too vicious. There was a thin line from Mu Qingyan's forehead to the bridge of her nose. Drops of blood leaked out, slowly flowing down. Considering that they hadn't even entered the Divine Flame Realm, such a wound could leave a scar that wouldn't fade. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu both panicked. This was just a lesson. There was no need to go this far. Was there? I'm fine. I was too foolish. My mind was seized. And I wasn't even able to muster the ability to protect myself. I couldn't even block the wind from his sword. Brother San was already merciful, or I'd have died. I, Mu Qingyan, fully submit. I'll never question Brother San again. Mu Qingyan shook her head shamefully. She had been feeling angry that Long Chen would say that his superficial knowledge of the sword Dao would be enough to teach her, and she wanted to retort. She even wanted to embarrass him with this exchange. These disturbing thoughts had caused her to lack the ability to even protect herself, resulting in just the wind from his sword injuring her. Fortunately, the cut was very thin. Drops of blood leaked out, but it wouldn't leave a scar. Long Chen had already shown mercy. At the same time as Mu Qingyan was horrified, she was also fully convinced by his sword. Her reverence for him increased. Brother San, the material of your sword is greatly lacking compared to mine. Why was it able to break my sword without being damaged? Asked Mu Qingyan after dealing with her wound. Long Chen's sword was borrowed from one of the elite group's disciples. 
Although those disciples all had money, Mu Qingyan's sword was not ordinary. It was several grades higher than the sword that Long Chen was using. It was due to this that Mu Qingyan had not expected his sword to be able to break hers. This attack of his was truly shocking. The elite group's disciples were especially shocked. They had been with him the longest, but they had never seen him use such a divine technique. They felt him to be even more unfathomable. I truly do not specialize in the sword Tao, but I have a brother who has a deep understanding of it. I've asked him about the essence of the sword Tao, and he told me that the sword is the most common weapon in the world, but also the most mysterious. Experts who use swords are as common as grains of sand, but there are only a few who understand what the sword is. He views his sword as his master, creating countless sword arts. However, even though there are endless transformations, they all return to the source. To get stronger, you must become one with the sword in your hand. Your entire heart, entire will must be within your sword. Even if it is just a sword made of ordinary metal, it is still your life, your soul. Use your heart to awaken it. You breathe with it. Your heart beats with it. Then you will have reached the first step of the sword Tao. As for myself, I'm not a sword cultivator. I've tried it, but I've only reached the first step. I can feel the pulse of my sword, its breath, its heartbeat. It's a very mysterious feeling. If you understand, then you understand. If you don't understand, then you don't. There is no explaining. Many people tell you that for cultivators, a weapon is an extension of the body. But a sword cultivator does not believe this. They believe that the sword is you. You are the sword. When you can breathe with your sword, when your hearts beat in unison, when your will becomes one with the will the sword, there will be a miraculous transformation. Even ordinary metal becomes unstoppable. Long Chen suddenly slashed his sword behind him. A black boulder behind him was sliced apart. This was a boulder for testing a person's power. It was exceptionally tough. Even a hammer wouldn't leave a single mark on it. However, his sword sliced through it like it was a vegetable. The two parts of the testing stone shook the room they were in when they fell on the ground, proving just how heavy they were. People's jaws dropped. They were unable to close the... The cut was smooth as glass. As for Long Chen's sword, it wasn't marked at all. Sword G? Isn't that something only experts in the Divine Flame Realm can achieve? Asked Li K. That sword was only three feet long, but the testing stone would require several people to wrap around it. It clearly wasn't long enough to cut through it. This isn't Sword Qi, it is Sword Light, an extension of the sword's power. Because it is limited, there is no way it can compare to Sword Qi, said Long Chen. Sword Light is the level new initiates to the Sword Tao can achieve. Now you should understand that I wasn't lying to you. Heavens, how terrifying. If I could learn this move, wouldn't I be unrivaled? Zhang Ling stared in shock. What enemy could block such a terrifying attack? Brother San, can you teach us this move? If we learn it, we'll definitely get first place for the upcoming divine competition. Zhang Xiu ran over and pulled Long Chen's sleeve excitedly. In her excitement, she forget that he was still holding a sword. If he hadn't put away fast enough, her leg would have been stabbed. After all, the sword light was still present on top of it. Boss San, teach us this move. Li Ke and the other's eyes were also shining with anticipation. That attack had been truly stunning. Long Chen shook his head. To master the sword Da requires an indomitable will that does not bend. A spirit that will not give up no matter what. Amongst all of you. Mu Qingyan is the only one who barely meets the requirements. The rest of you are far too lacking. Continue training according to what I taught you. Temper your wills. Once you meet the requirements, I won't hold back. I'll keep working hard. Li Ke clenched his fist excitedly. Long Chen always kept his sword. They were filled with anticipation for that day. Everyone else was just as excited. Long Chen was now a practically omnipotent existence to them. He was powerful and terrifying. They felt like they had only seen the tip of the iceberg when it came to him. With this to strive for, everyone continued working hard. They were even more serious than before. They had never worked this hard before. Long Chen's attack was just that alluring. Long Chen brought Mu Qingyan into a corner, having her sit with her sword on her knees. She was to focus on feeling the pulse of her sword. Brother San, this place, 
Mu Qingyan was unable to calm herself in this situation. There was Li Kei and the others shouting nearby. She was unable to feel anything that Long Chen described. If you can't even calm your heart, how will you sense the will of the sword? A sword has no joy, anger, sorrow, happiness. It is not disturbed by outside forces. This is a trial for you. A sword cultivator is solitary and detached. They must be able to maintain a heart of still water at any moment, even when facing death, said Long Chen severely. Mu Qingyan nodded. She continued trying to feel her sword. However, becoming a sword cultivator couldn't possibly be so easy. Even though Mu Qingyan was extremely talented, there was no reaction even after an hour. As for Long Chen, he had slipped away. Going to the Pill Institute. Chapter 2856 Wilderness Long Chen went to the Pill Institute, or more accurately, the medicinal fields. He quickly found the supervisor from last time. Due to their last interaction, they could be considered old friends now. That supervisor hastily greeted Long Chen. Boss San, you're back. This time what do you want? Last time, Long Chen had taken some of his medicinal herbs and this supervisor had turned a blind eye to it. In return, Long Chen hadn't exposed his embezzlement of these medicines. Just like this, they had a tacit understanding. Gather some herbs for me. I want fresh ones and one of each. I'll pay you three times what the Pill Institute would pay you for them. Long Chen got straight to the point. Boss San, what are you saying? If you want any, just ask. I don't want any of your money, said the supervisor with a cajoling smile. As long as Long Chen didn't make things hard on him, he would already light incense in thanks. Making money from Long Chen? He didn't dare to do so. Go get them. One each. It's not much money and I can't make you work for nothing. Treat it as me treating you to tea. Long Chen waved his hand. He knew that all the supervisors here were connected in their own network. They were familiar with each other's medicinal fields. However, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to go through all the medicinal fields, picking plants one by one. He would rather have their help and save all that time. Hearing this, the supervisor didn't dare to tarry and immediately ran off. Two hours later, he returned with over 3,000 plants. Boss San, some people that supervise their medicinal fields weren't present, so I can only give you these for now. Take a look. Long Chen curled his mouth. Just from this supervisor's gaze, Long Chen could see that he was probing him. Then take these. There are 13,000 immortal crystals here. Long Chen tossed him a sack. The supervisor was delighted but still put on a modest expression. Boss San. You're making things hard for this little one. Being able to help you is my honor. How could I take your money? Boss San doesn't make others work for free. These immortal crystals are yours. Think of a way to reach those supervisors and get me more plants. I'll return tomorrow, said Long Chen. As he left, the supervisor called out. Boss San, don't worry. Even if I have to break my legs running, I'll get them all. After that. Long Chen tossed the plants into the primal chaos space, and the medicinal field inside grew once more. He knew that this fellow had refused to bring out everything because he was worried that Long Chen was only giving him lip service about paying him. If Long Chen didn't pay in the end, he would have suffered a large loss. That was why he had only brought over a few, to probe Long Chen. Hence, Long Chen didn't just pay him in return but also gave him some extra. That way. He should be at ease and prepare more for Long Chen next time. Long Chen then went to buy a better pill furnace. His old one was sold back for a discounted price, but he got back 70% of the capital. From this, he supposed that the Pill Institute had some conscience. He spent over 30,000 immortal crystals on a new pill furnace that was of a much higher quality than his old one. But the price was truly painful. Even so, if he wanted to do good work, he needed a good tool. After that, by the time he returned to the training room in the God Institute, half a day had passed. However, Mu Qingyan was still unable to feel the pulse of her sword. Her face was slightly pale. Seeing Long Chen return, she looked up and nervously said, Brother San, am I especially stupid? No matter how she tried, she was unable to feel her sword. That was a large blow to her confidence. For her to become number two on the divine rankings showed that she was extremely talented. 
But that talent didn't help her here. No, I would say that you're just an ordinary idiot, said Long Chen after a moment's thought. Brother San, Mu Qingyan was looking for comfort with that question, only for Long Chen to make it worse. It was just a joke. Don't take it seriously, said Long Chen with a smile. But I, you're too impatient. Things won't go faster just because you're in a rush. A sword cultivator doesn't depend on talent but on a strong will. The training can end here. Everyone, stop, called out Long Chen. Ba San, aren't we training for a whole day? It's only been half a day, said Li Kei. His face was covered in sweat. Teaching so many people was very tiring, but these disciples were all so dedicated that they couldn't stop. The elite group seemed to have become addicted to the admiring gazes of these disciples. What can be taught in theory has already been taught. Gather up to go to the hunting grounds. Training that poses no danger is too ineffective. Long Chen directly asked for a flying boat from Mu Qingyan. They then formed a hunting party of 2,000 people. The hunting grounds of the God Institute were specifically made for disciples to hone their combat skills. There was definitely a certain level of danger here, but as long as there were enough people and the disciples were careful enough, the chances of death were extremely low. Furthermore, the beasts here were specifically picked and tossed inside. They were all beasts with impure bloodlines, and thus limited combat potential. They were perfect for disciples to train on. However, under Long Chen's guidance, the flying boat passed through this hunting ground. After eight hours, Zhang Ling couldn't help saying, Brother San, any further and we'll leave the hunting ground. It will be the wilderness. There will be no formation of the hunting ground blocking more terrifying beasts from appearing. We might be wiped out if we encounter some terrifying existence. The God Institute's hunting ground was on its borders. There was a special formation blocking stronger beasts from entering while keeping the weaker beasts inside. Outside of the hunting ground was a boundless wilderness with countless dangers. It was unknown how many people had refused to heed the warning and entered that wilderness, only to never return. Hence, to these people, it was essentially a forbidden area. No one dared to enter. If you want to become an expert, how can you not face danger? Since you've chosen cultivation. A path of no return, there is nothing to be afraid of, said Long Chen. The barrier appeared in front of them at this time. It buzzed, giving them a warning that any further and they would be in dangerous lands. However, Long Chen didn't stop. He had Mu Qingyan send the flying boat right through the barrier and into the wilderness. All the disciples' hearts clenched once they passed the barrier. They were in a completely unknown world now. The flying boat then continued for half an incense stick's worth of time before a sudden explosion shook it. After that, the sky darkened. The disciples inside staggered and cried out. A giant toad thousands of meters tall had appeared out of some hole. It opened its enormous mouth, and its tongue shot out, wrapping around the flying boat. It then began to pull them inside. Chapter 2857 Heavenly Flame Sita the disciples inside the flying boat screamed as the floor beneath them violently rocked. Long Chen then looked over at everyone. The elite group's disciples were also panicking, but their weapons were in their hands. They were ready for battle. However, the other disciples were also panicked that they only knew how to scream. Other than that, it seemed that they were simply waiting for death to come. Suddenly, the flying boat lit up as Mu King Ion activated its defensive abilities. As a result, lightning runes appeared on top of it, making the giant toad shudder. A burst of smoke then came from its tongue, and it let go of the flying boat. Heavens, that was terrifying I thought we were definitely dead this time. The flying boat flew off. Having escaped the danger, the disciples clenched their chests. However, just as they were speaking, they saw Long Chen looking at them coldly. They hastily shut their mouths. The flying boat then slowly advanced. Inside, everyone was deathly silent. The atmosphere was extremely awkward. Brother San, we were wrong. Zhang Ling thickened her face and spoke first with her head lowered. The elite group had spent so many hours doing their best to teach them to keep their calm when facing powerful enemies. The reason was they couldn't be so terrified that they couldn't react. They had to watch their opponent and grasp their chance to fight back. Hence, they thought that they had learned this lesson. But as soon as that giant toad appeared, 
everything flew out of their minds. Upon facing real danger, their terror and despair automatically appeared. They even gave up resisting. That was why they were so ashamed in front of Long Chen's gaze. They had even sworn that they had controlled their fear and were ready. Hence, this slap in the face was truly loud. Brother San, you can scold us. Don't just stare at us like this. After an incense stick's worth of time, Zhang Ling and the others felt numb, feeling like their souls had crumbled. Zhang Ling begged him to speak. Long Chen shook his head and didn't say anything. When the flying boat entered a mountain range, he had Mu Qingyan stop the boat. Mu Qingyan then stopped and sighed. Just now, she had also been covered in sweat. She wasn't much better than everyone else. Long Chen finally started speaking. I admit that your previous display made me a bit angry, but when I thought about it, I realized I was asking too much of you. Your lives were too peaceful, and you are different from me back then. I was someone with no background who had to go all out just to survive. As for you, many of you wish to cultivate only to excel, to bring honor to your ancestors, or maybe even just to show off, to be a level higher than others. However, let me tell you something right now. People must be vigilant even in times of peace. The reason you can live like you do today is entirely due to the backgrounds of your families. But you are naively unaware of just how many lives and how much blood were shed in the past to win these peaceful lives. For a power to rise, they must be accompanied by a storm of blood. When a power rises, there will also be countless greedy eyes on them. Do you not have opposing factions? Do you not have enemy clans? If there comes a day that the pillars of your families collapse, what will you do? Will you cry and scream like just now? Simply await your death? Your peaceful lives only exist because people in your families are shielding you from the wind and rain. However, as fellow members of your family, have you never thought about becoming the person that shields your family from wind and rain? Everyone was silent. The reason that they were able to enter the High Firmament Academy was because their backgrounds weren't bad. The elite group's disciples in particular were created from their families piling resources into them. It had to be known that the tuition fee for the academy was not cheap. Just the monthly benefits that they obtained from the academy were unable to keep up with the costs for their cultivation. They also received a large sum of money from their families every year. Hence, Long Chen's words struck them in their hearts. Could it be that they would waste a lifetime being protected by their families? How was that any different than being useless trash? There is no shortcut on the path to becoming strong. If you want to get stronger, you need to be able to face death. I brought you here because if you don't have that determination to get stronger, half or more of you will be stuck here for the rest of your lives. Think well. It is time for you to face death and become a true expert. If you want, you can also be an ordinary disciple and live a peaceful life. Make sure that you make the right decision for yourself. You still have time now, but when the doors of the flying boat open, if you still regret it, I will personally kill you, said Long Chen harshly. After that, everyone looked at each other. His words gave them goosebumps. Half or more of them would die here? I want to get stronger. Otherwise, if I'm just going to be bullied every day, what is the point of living? I wish to advance. Me too. My father has ten other sons. He won't miss me. I'm afraid of dying. But I'm even more afraid of dying as a good for nothing. I'll bet it all. I bet that if I don't die, Ba San will turn me into a powerful warrior just like the big brothers of the elite group. Everyone had endured anger. Everyone had endured humiliation. Now that they had encountered a master like Long Chen, if they retreated, they would regret it for a lifetime. With the disciples expressing their attitudes one by one, new courage was born within them. Their blood then began to ignite. In the end, not one person retreated. Long Chen nodded. After all, they were young people with youth's vigor. If they didn't even have the courage to be wild as a youth, then there really would be no need for them to cultivate. Good. Since everyone has agreed to stay, let me explain why I brought you here. I read a book that mentioned this place a few days ago. It's called Crescent Moon Valley. 18,000 years ago, there was an immense battle here. The Academy's experts rushed over, but the battle was already over by the time they arrived. It is said that when the experts investigated the scars of the battle, 
There were signs that a heavenly flame seed gave birth to its own intelligent mind here. There was some beast that wanted to devour it, resulting in a fierce clash. However, no one saw that battle, so no one knows who won. All that remained is a ruined battlefield in the shape of a crescent moon. Hence, it is called Crescent Moon Valley. I brought you here because the will of the heavenly flame still remained here. Even after 10,000 years, that aura is still going strong. So this is perfect for tempering your wills. It's the fastest way to make you gain the will of an expert. Furthermore Long Chen suddenly paused, a fiery light appearing in his eyes. Furthermore, if my deductions are correct, a new heavenly flame seed will soon be born here. That is my ultimate goal. Right now, Long Chen urgently wished to upgrade Huo Long's power. Only then could he truly soar. Chapter 2858 Black Fang Viper Heavenly Flame Seed Mu Qingyan was shocked. Although she was a disciple of the God Institute and not an alchemist, she was well aware of how precious a heavenly flame seed was. In the immortal world, there were immortal flames, divine flames, beast flames, devil flames, etc. But it was heavenly flames that were the most precious existence. These were flames of the heavenly deos, spirits born of the qi flow of the heavenly deos. Heavenly flames were priceless treasures that alchemists dreamed of obtaining. Even with the Pill Institute's foundation, heavenly flame seeds were extremely precious. Amongst all the people that Long Chen had encountered so far, only the Seven Star Elder, He Ziyu, possessed a heavenly flame. Brother San, if that heavenly flame seed really appears, we aren't able to subdue it. We'll be incinerated before we even get close, said Mu Qingyan. It's unknown if the heavenly flame seed will even appear, but if it does, it will be in a newly born state with no consciousness. There won't be any danger. King Gion put away the flying boat. Everyone is to enter Crescent Moon Valley. There are countless beasts here. There are also plenty of poison bugs around. Everyone must be careful, or you might lose your life at any moment, warned Long Chen. Mu King Gion put away the flying boat. Long Chen led everyone forward slowly. Li Kei brought up the rear with some other experts. After all, their sense of danger and reactions were much better than these disciples of the Unfettered Alliance. This was the only way to guarantee everyone's protection. Suddenly, Long Chen's hand snaked out and grabbed Mu Qingyan's sword. Light flashed. A vine beside Mu Qingyan was severed. That was a poisonous snake camouflaged as a vine. It was killed just as it prepared an attack against Mu Qingyan. A black fang viper. Mu Qingyan was startled. She recognized this viper. Its poison was horrifying. It had a pair of black fangs. If bit, ordinary antitoxin pills were useless. You would die within a moment of being struck by its poison. Long Chen resheathed Mu Qingyan's sword as if nothing had happened and continued onwards. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu looked from Mu Qingyan to Long Chen. That viper had concealed itself perfectly. None of its aura leaked out, but Long Chen had easily killed it before its attack landed. That confidence and ease dazzled them. Brother San, how are you so amazing? How did you do this? Zhang Ling ran over to Long Chen's side. When you understand just how precious your life is, you will be able to do the same, said Long Chen lightly. I don't understand, said Zhang Ling. It just means that I value my life more than you. I won't let anyone take it from me. For example, in a place where you can lose your life at any moment, I don't have time to chat, said Long Chen. Zhang Ling finally understood that he was rebuking her for still wasting time asking questions instead of watching out for dangers on their path. She didn't get angry by this rebuke. She ran back over to Mu Qingyan's side, keeping her mouth closed. Ah, a disciple suddenly slipped. Half his body sank into the ground, startling everyone. Others quickly pulled on him. Boom. Li Kei's sword slashed onto the ground. Only then did they manage to pull that person out. There were still tree roots wrapped around his feet. Those roots had been severed by Li Kei's attack. A blood-like liquid dripped out of the cut. It's a tree demon. Everyone, be more careful. If you had been paying attention, you might not have fallen for its attack. There was someone to save you this time. But you might not be so fortunate next time warned Li Kei. This was a sly kind of tree demon that hid underground. It specialized in laying traps for its prey. 
which included beasts and humans. It would absorb their flesh as nutrients. Novaloon.com CM Yes. Many thanks. Big Brother Lee K. That disciple was still pale. He had almost died. There were countless dangers around them. Their nerves were tight. After half a day of travel, the sky started darkening. The forest was shrouded in darkness. The sound of a wild beast would occasionally ring out, raising their hair. Brother San, the sky has darkened. Shouldn't we find a place to rest during the night? Asked Mu Q and Jian. Just walking around here during the day was frightening enough. Now that it was dark, even she was a bit afraid. This place was the wilderness. If something happened here, no one would come to save them. Suddenly, a strange sound came from beneath Mu King Gion's feet. She lowered her head and jumped up, grabbing Long Chen. It was a skeleton. The flesh had already been eaten by wild beasts. Moss had started to grow on top of the bones due to how long had passed. If Mu King Gion hadn't stepped on it, they wouldn't have known that there was a corpse beneath them. Mu King Gion tightly grabbed Long Chen's arm. Long Chen didn't make a sound. He just stood there. It was only after a moment that Mu King Gion realized that her actions were inappropriate, and she immediately let go. Her face as red as an apple. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu smiled mischievously when they saw that, causing her to be even more embarrassed. Long Chen slowly knelt down, searching around the skeleton. He found some rotting clothes. There was no way to identify whether it was the robes of someone from the academy. However, he quickly found the status plate near the corpse's waist. He picked it up and looked at it. It's a disciple from the Immortal Institute. Furthermore, it was someone from the Outer Academy just like us. Mu King Gion seemed to feel like she had been too embarrassing just now, and brazenly stepped forward to examine the plate. A disciple of the Immortal Institute actually dared to come here? They didn't know their own power. One disciple shook their head, feeling like this person had practically been courting death. Someone who didn't have their own burden wouldn't gamble their life. People who aren't trying are not qualified to mock someone who is risking their life, said Long Chen lightly. Yes, Ba San, I was wrong. That disciple hastily apologized. Long Chen tossed the status plate to that disciple. If you have a chance, return this status plate to the Immortal Institute. Perhaps his father, his mother, his brothers, his sisters were all searching for information on where he was during these years. They prayed for him to return. But regretfully Long Chen shook his head and continued onwards. After that skeleton appeared, a shadow was cast over everyone's hearts. They became even more cautious. The sky turned darker and darker. It reached the point that they couldn't even see their own fingers when they waved their hands in front of them. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand. A spear was thrown into the forest, followed by the roar of a beast. Some rumbling rang out along with some trees shaking. The sound gradually faded as the beast fled. Having been struck by Long Chen first, it didn't dare to come over. They progressed through the darkness for over two hours. Those two hours felt longer than a year to them. Suddenly, they felt that the ground beneath them was no longer soft. Instead, it was rock-like. The air was filled with a burning sand. We've reached the entrance of Crescent Moon Valley. Everyone can rest said Long Chen. Chapter 2859 A mouth like a torrent The majority of the disciples instantly collapsed when they heard that they could rest. They fell to the ground, feeling limp. Traveling for two hours in the darkness at maximum tension had pushed them to their limit. As soon as they relaxed, they felt like they couldn't even move. Only a bit more than 500 people were able to stay standing. They were exhausted but still had some energy. Unlike the others who had overdrafted themselves, most of these people were the ones that Long Chen had picked out for the main force. Hence, Mu King Gion, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others practically prostrated themselves toward Long Chen's sharp vision. After a moment of rest, Mu King Gion took out the flying boat. The disciples with energy then crawled up, while some were already unconscious and had to be carried by the disciples of the elite group. Li Kei was the most enthusiastic about this work. He was the first to kindly carry a disciple on his back up the flying boat. When he passed Long Chen, Long Chen simply looked at him, not saying a word. Helping people is its own pleasure. Long Chen's gaze made Li Kei feel a bit uneasy, but he still spoke confidently. 
when you go out into the world in the future, don't tell people that I taught you this shamelessness, said Long Chen disdainfully. Mu Qingyan, Zhang Ling, and Zhang Xiu laughed. Li Kei was carrying a female disciple on his back. Although it couldn't be said that he was taking advantage of her, it also couldn't be said that he was being completely pure-hearted. Yes, helping people really is its own pleasure. Just looking at your face is proof, laughed Zhang Xiu. Seeing that his thoughts were easily seen through, Li Ke lowered his head and hastily carried people up the flying boat. It was only once everyone was on the flying boat and the doors were closed that people finally felt at ease. The flying boat had its own defenses. At the very least, they wouldn't have to worry about being eaten Noveloon.com however, they didn't turn on any lights for fear of drawing over any terrifying beasts. Within the wilderness, not even flying boats were completely safe. In the darkness, it took less than an incense stick's worth of time before people began to fall into a deep slumber. Their mental strength had been used up on this journey, and sleeping was the best way to recover. Long Chen sat against a wall, and Mu Qingyan was on his left. As for Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu, they were like cats curled up on his right side. After a while, it seemed that they were uncomfortable in their sleep, and they ended up using his leg as a pillow. In the darkness, Long Chen then saw something glinting. There was a line of saliva dripping out of Zhang Ling's mouth. No wonder this girl spends all day giggling. This innate mouth like a torrent skill must have been passed down from generation to generation. Long Chen shook his head. Beside him, Mu Qingyan laughed. She was only a bit tired and was much better off than the others. Brother San. You really are a curious person. You can make people laugh or cry with a single word. When you want to, you can seem warm and safe. But you can also seem possessed by the devil to the point that people don't even dare to look into your eyes. Whispered Mu Qingyan. Perhaps it was due to the darkness. But at this moment, she dared to say the words in her heart. Everyone else was asleep. Only she and Long Chen were still awake. Within this black space. This atmosphere was a bit beguiling, so without being aware of it, she blushed slightly. Her heartbeat quickened. Brother San, I've never heard you talk about your past. Are you willing to share it with me? I'm very curious about your past, whispered Mu Qingyan. There's nothing worth saying. It was just fighting and killing. There's nothing interesting about it. Long Chen shook his head. Mu Qingyan was disappointed. She knew that this was his way of tactfully declining. It was also a kind of rejection. Mu Qingyan was a female expert. Even under Chu Kuang's suppression, she had not submitted as she had her own pride. Although she had bled countless times on her cultivation path, she rarely cried. However, just these simple words from Long Chen were enough to make her eyes red. Fortunately, it was dark. So she did her best to adjust her mental state, not wanting Long Chen to notice. Have you ever fallen in love with someone before asked Long Chen suddenly. This sudden question caught Mu Qingyan off guard. She shook her head. Not in the past. Long Chen thought about it and then said. Loving someone is like a bird flying in the air willingly chosen to confine itself in a cage. A cheetah binding itself with chains. A hedgehog letting its quivers be taken. What does that mean? To love someone is giving them the power to hurt you when you put down your guard. You break your own wings and give up your ability to run. It means to stand by their side and face a hundred deaths without regret. A thousand tribulations without hesitation Long Chen sighed. His voice heavy with grief. He thought of the pill fairy. Of her words. She had spent a thousand lifetimes. A thousand reincarnations calling to him just to awaken him. Every reincarnation. She died in front of him. He would never be able to repay her. Although Long Chen still didn't know his own identity, the gaze that the pill fairy had given him right before her death made him feel the unforgettable love she had for him, a love that endured multiple lifetimes. Now she had reincarnated again, but he had no idea where, if she had reincarnated, due to the difference in space time, would there be some oddities in the passing of time? Would a day here be half a year where she was? In any case, he felt uneasy about it. It had been over two months since he had ascended to the immortal world. However, his cultivation base didn't really improve that much as he was with these greenhouse flowers. There was no current crisis. Yet that made him worried. 
he had to get stronger to find his family. Mu Qingyan silently mulled over Long Chen's words. Just now, she almost cried because Long Chen wasn't willing to reveal his past. Was this a warning? Don't easily fall in love with someone. You can treat me as your big brother, a close big brother. Perhaps that will make it easier for us to get along. In the darkness, Long Chen patted Mu Qingyan's shoulder. He realized that Mu Qingyan already started to have some feelings for him. Hence, he had to throttle these emotions while they were just sprouts. It was because his heart was riddled with holes, so he couldn't accept these feelings. He could face an army of thousands and slay millions of devils. He could look down arrogantly on the rest of the world, but he didn't dare to touch the thing called love again. Fortunately, these feelings were still hazy and indistinct in Mu Qingyan. Hearing that Long Chen could be her big brother, she felt much better. Just like that, she wrapped around Long Chen's arm and fell asleep with a content smile. When the sun silently rose, Long Chen called everyone awake and prepared to move out. This is, when they woke up, Li Ke suddenly realized that there was something in front of him. Chapter 2860 The early bird gets the worm it was a bowl of soy milk. Hence, Li Ke was moved and looked around. Don't get so emotional. Someone won't treat you so well just because you carried them once, said Long Chen. Then who was it? Asked Li Ke. It was me, said Long Chen. Ba San, you treat me so well. Li Ke was even more moved. TCH, you were grinding your teeth so loudly at night that I had to stuff some beans in your mouth to keep you quiet. You made the milk yourself, so you can drink it, said Long Chen irritably. They had been too exhausted to even hear such a thing at night. They probably wouldn't have woken up even if thunder boomed right above their heads. At this moment, Li Kei's embarrassed expression made them laugh. I was wondering why my mouth felt fishy, mumbled Li Kei. After a night's sleep, everyone was refreshed. They then walked down the flying boat, looking through the forest. They felt like the colors were more vibrant than yesterday. Does the world feel different? Asked a disciple. They were unable to tell exactly what was different. Long Chen said, It is because of the improvement in your mental strength. The constant threat of death stimulated your mind. At the same time as you look at the world, your mind automatically activates, giving birth to mental energy. This mental energy will then sharpen your sense of danger. Although it's still very weak, it might be able to save your life at a critical moment. This explanation delighted everyone. They had made such an improvement in just a single day. If they continued like this for a month, wouldn't they only grow even more powerful? Don't get carried away. Ba San told us that this kind of benefit is only for novices. Because you haven't experienced anything like this before, it has the best effect the first time you experience it. The effect won't be as obvious the second time and onward. Well, Ba San won't be using the same method for you once it loses effect. Things will only get harder, but you'll also make more gains. If you want to get stronger, grit your teeth and persevere, reminded Li Ke. Back then, Li Ke and the others had also gone through this and knew what these disciples were thinking. It went without saying that Li Ke was a very successful teacher's aide. He knew what to say at the right time. After breaking down their unrealistic ideas, he also gave them hope making them realize that the path in front of them was even harder but also filled with unimaginable benefits. They had already gained so much just by following Long Chen for a day. That was an addicting feeling. After walking out of the flying boat, they saw that there was a giant canyon in front of them. The forest ended here, and not a single blade of grass grew within the canyon. It was all black stone with a faint scorching heat coming from within. It looked strange and desolate. We'll continue in the same formation as yesterday. Let's go, said Long Chen, leading the way into the valley. Compared to how on edge they were yesterday, the entire group was clearly better off today. Seeing that her group had improved so much in just one day, Mu Qingyan's eyes shone with excitement. You're the leader. A leader must maintain an air of mystery. If your emotions are written all over your face, you won't have a leader's style said Long Chen with a smile upon seeing the beaming Mu Qingyan. After yesterday's talk, Long Chen felt a bit closer to Mu Qingyan. However, it was different from the feelings between a man and woman. Mu Qingyan seemed to truly view him as a big brother, 
so Long Chen no longer needed to be so careful around her. With Brother San present, I don't need that, laughed Mu Qingyan. Long Chen nodded. All right, it's time to increase your power. Here, take this medicine. Long Chen tossed Mu Qingyan a little bottle. Mu Qingyan then asked, what is this? But even as she asked, she was already drinking the medicinal liquid inside. It's bitter. Mu Qingyan shivered with the taste. It felt like it was stuck in her throat. Good medicine tastes bitter. This medicine was specifically made by me for you, but its effect is rather slow. You'll feel it later. Long Chen continued leading the way. Only once they were deeper did everyone find that this valley was absolutely gigantic. They couldn't see the end. All they could see were stones that had been scorched black and emitted a metallic shine. It's getting hotter as they advanced. People started to feel like they were being broiled. They began to sweat. They touched the rocks but were surprised to find that the rocks were actually cool. They didn't know where this heat was coming from. This is the will left behind by the heavenly flame. It directly roasts the person's soul. The heat you feel isn't real heat but a misperception. 18,000 years ago, a powerful heavenly flame seed was born here. It already had its own spirit and began to transform. Its power was unimaginable. After that, a terrifying beast wanted to devour it. So the two fought. This place is the edge of their battlefield. Once we reach the core, your souls will feel like they are being baked. You might see illusions or even heart devils. Remember to protect your heart and not be disturbed, warned Long Chen. As expected, after another hour, some disciples turned pale. Their eyes became scarlet. Long Chen gave them some medicinal liquid to alleviate their symptoms a bit and then continued onward. Brother San, I... Mu Qingyan suddenly spoke up, her voice quivering. Don't get emotional. Continue feeling it. Mu Qingyan was finally sensing fluctuations from her sword. Just as Long Chen had anticipated, there were flame runes carved into Mu Qingyan's sword. It was a fire attribute sword. In this place, where a heavenly flame seed had been born, the sword sensed the flame energy and its fluctuations became clearer. As for the medicinal liquid that he had given her before, it was to temporarily boost her mental strength. Hence, for her to finally sense the fluctuations of her sword was natural. Eventually, some disciples could no longer endure. They began to talk nonsense. And there were even signs of them going insane. Long Chen had everyone pause here. And those disciples gradually calmed down. After two hours of rest and letting everyone get used to this place, they pressed onward. They repeatedly stopped on the way before finally arriving at the core of the valley. There was a giant cave opening in front of them. Long Chen then walked over and suddenly squatted down, his expression changing slightly. Someone else arrived before us. 